I wanna, I wanna go cry on a bus, in a train, with a friend, in the rain. This is so sad. To a degree that is just, I want, I wanna go cry in the rain with a friend, cause I'm in pain and stuff. It's just, this is it for me, guys. This is, this is the final stand is if it crashes again, I'm done. No more, no moss. I, I just can't do it anymore. If that's, if that's what, what goes down, then I'm done. I, I just, this is it. It's my final final chance to 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 live life and breathe air they say that somehow we're gonna get there and it'll be wonderful but then i'm like i think you're lying i'm i'm, I'm pretty sure those are just the lyrics to to icarly and that's sad i think because everyone knows that drake and josh was the better show um However, the issue is that um, Drake Bell is a pedophile, so that show aged kind of poorly now. Um, I swear to God, it, it was it was a good show, though. I, sw I I I promise you, it was it was a good. It's just that Drake Bell ruined it for everybody um, because he sucks. So that's the. That's the thing. Well, okay. Well, I can't believe it's been a week already. New stream. Let's go. Yep. Hey, at least think about it this way. With the I'm 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 making up for lost time. We've had like what four streams tonight. I missed a couple streams. I gave you extra ones. Now you have you've got multiple streams. So is it really like I missed streams, or is it like I? I was holding them back with interest. Who's to say? Not me, certainly, but maybe someone could say something. Um, I just got a comment on a video. Let's let's see what it says. It's not. Is it going to show me what the comment says? Let's find out. Someone commented on my. Evangelion video. Okay. Noted. What did they what did they say? Here we go. It says oh it doesn't it's not showing the wait. Here we go. It says I disagree, all due respect. Uh it has its flaws and it isn't uh, and some shit isn't explained, but I enjoyed them. It was a nice change of pace. In the That's a nice comment. The next comment says, Jesus is our savior. I don't know why they commented that, but okay. Um, skip a few. Oh, this is a good, oh, this is a good one right here. Oh, lol, crying about the fan service. Worthless opinion. Well, we love good good co comments so yay we get seven streams a week so we're really like 28 streams behind you remember back when I used to have streams that didn't fucking crash a million goddamn times? I remember. Ooh, I remember, I remember, I remember. It's terrible. I nailed it, brother, or possibly myself. Who can say? 
<laughs> Kokichi, you are goofy. You are so goofy. I'm going to comment on your old videos. Do it, please. I need the engagement badly. Badly, badly. Anyway, we were watching videos, right? Is that what we were... Let's finish watch. Let's watch some more videos, guys. Wow. Okay, so I was going to try to do a segue before the stream crashed because uh, this video was sent in called The Brain and Consciousness. I don't remember what I said, but I think I, I used the word consciousness, and I was going to use that to, to transition, but unfortunately, I was not able to, uh, largely because, you know, the, the stream, it, you know, it crashed, but, but we're going to watch it now. We're going to, we're going to, wow, I'm already, you guys see this? Look out, I'm already almost done with this bottle. How did I drink that much? That's crazy. I'm kind of awesome. Anyway, so the brain and consciousness. Let's let's see what's up with uh with this. That hasn't happened in a few months. Fuck you. <laughs> How dare you be be honest to me? I'm gonna go cry. You're most likely aware of what this is. The brain. A brain, yes. This is gonna be about how the brain can see the brain and the brain knows what it looks like. You have a brain and you know that. But why don't you feel it? Because we don't have like nerves in our brain, I guess, right? It may sound surprising if at a certain moment you realize there's always a brain in your head. It's not that surprising. Do you know how it looks like? What? What does that mean? You only know that it's there. Okay. You cannot feel anything about it. Feel about it. Okay. You barely know what it's made out of. Uh, brain matter, obviously. You are the brain, yet you don't know yourself at all. Fair enough. It's because it's like it's a uh, we're mechs and it's like we're exoskeletons, like uh, titans. You know. Does that make you think if you're really? Wait, sorry. Let me reread that. Does that make you think if you're it really? Or just an existential consciousness? What do you think? Uh, uh, okay. I think we're we're mechs uh, that's if we're ask if you're wondering what my take is i think we're we're mechs and we're just there we're being where our brains pilot us like titans so so if you're gonna if you're asking what that's what i think we're mechs next video is uh this is the i think it's a game everhood launch trailer i believe it was it was sent in um because i think it was charcoal angel right you were saying that there's like a sequel coming out and it, it, that not to sleep on it so let's see what this uh this trailer looks like i'm curious i think you are ready i'm not to face the challenges Oh, that's loud. Turned it down a little bit. I always pick out the best videos. I feel like you pick out the creepy videos with the depression because you're calling for help. I think it just like, it resonates with me, honestly. I'm here for it. I love the videos. I, they, they speak to me on it. I do think it's, I, I do love the little, little bits of wildness. And then I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh. 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 Dungeons.
A trippy world. Make funny friends. This actually kind of goes hard. Why are you here? Oh. I urge you to please leave. Refund this game if you can. What? Would you sacrifice your humanity to receive immortality? Whoa, this got heavy real fast. What? Huh? What? Ineffable. As in not effable. Honestly, it goes kind of hard. I actually do really like the vibe of that game. Very much the, the little existential towards the end. And it says in the description, we warn you, you're in for a ride. Honestly, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Caleb should stream Undertale. I mean, Undertale is peak. I've already like played it though, so I don't know if streaming it would like do much. I mean, Delta Rune is still coming out, but I also don't know if I would really like. I mean, Delta Rune. I have also played like the first couple chapters of. I guess I could play new chapters as they came out, but I kind of have like, you know, I I have commitments to play that with with other people. Maybe on stream still though. Who knows. Under Undertale and Deltarune are both awesome though. I'm a big fan. Uh Everhood is great. I'm that's very interesting. That's very, very interesting. I, I'm I I'm I'm curious. I'm I'm I might have to look more into it, honestly. I, I've liked the vibes a lot, I will say. I, I did I fucked with the vibes. Uh the next thing we have on here is a YouTube short. Okay, it's a YouTube short and it, it says it's called Goblin Days. So let's let's see what this is that I am no longer having bad days. In fact, there are only good days or goblin days. Goblin days are the days that the little goblin inside of me that hides in my subconscious next to my trauma and fear shows yeah. up and demands all of my attention. Of but course. instead of having a bad day, I have a goblin day. Because a goblin's worst fear is self-care, and so I give him food and water and exercise until he slowly diminishes in size until he's like a troll doll that I can hold in my what? hands and carry him like a little baby so that he stops crying at 12 a.m. when I need to be going to sleep. I'm having a goblin day. <laughs> I have decided. I I think I only have goblin days. This is a Hatsune Miku video. I think it's a it's a Vocaloid song called Edge Lord. That kind of sounds peak. Um, Undertale run, but we only kill papyrus. <laughs> Honestly, fire, straight fire. Um, they're not commitments to me. I mean, I I don't just commitments are I don't know. I don't make the rule. I mean, I I guess I kind of do make the the rules, but I'm gonna say I don't make the rules to avoid responsibility. That's got to be hard to stream Undertale since I'm bad at keeping secrets like my bro. And what, secrets about Undertale? I mean, I've already, the thing is, I've already played Undertale, so there's no secrets to keep for me. I guess maybe for other people, but I feel like most everyone's seen Undertale at this point. I mean, it's kind of like old news, right? Undertale does go hard, though. Deltarune, though. Now that shit goes fucking, I'm, I am so excited for Deltarune Chapter 3. Let me just say that. Deltarune Chapter 3 is going to be amazing, and I am here for it. Anyway, let's look at this uh, song, Edgelord. Oh, I have some Gatorade still. Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. I think this is intense. I'm gonna I'm gonna start sobbing. 
Kokichi roleplaying his own brother was not on my bingo sheet for this stream. Honestly, iconic though. Iconic. Whoa. <laughs> I'm not role playing though. Hey brother, can you get me a drink? Sure, little bro. <laughs> oh God. Maybe Kokichi himself is alive of the brother fabricated for this day. Mind blown. I've been trying to pick a song about being an online content creator for each stream you watch videos. Honestly, fair. It's real. I I if I fuck with them. Honestly, I'm glad that you're sending them because they are all, all very good. Fucky for sure. My brain goes. And other sounds internally, but it, it, I'm I'm here for it. This is only commodifying everything of mine. Oh. Aha, uh -huh. I recommend you read the video description, by the way. Oh, shit. Okay, what's in the, the video description? Let's see. Just says, um, this is a bit of an event song. I'm tired of art being my main source of value when it's constantly misinterpreted, mainly being praised for my commission work or things outside of my preferred mediums while the things I want to create don't get nearly as much enthusiasm. It's also a bit of a satire on my own frustration as well as people who exploit the frustration of others to turn into art. Wow. That's incredible. That's, I love creators, artists, humans. I love humans. And I guess Vocaloids too, because Vocaloids, they're not quite human, but we love them too. That's, wow. Wow, I feel, oh my God, let me look back. I'm looking back down at the, the lyrics now because I'm just, I'm like, uh, time to, yeah, my words are falling out of rhythm. My mouth has gone dry. Play the game, I'll make the most of my place. Stuck between the chances and a fake face, only commodifying everything of mine. Wow. Cover up with lots of plaster, too hard to breathe. Are you watching over me? Oh. Uh, uh. Fuck. <laughs> All I have to say is, fuck, that's crazy. That's intense. Uh, the next thing we have in here uh, is a, a meme sent in um, that just said, uh, yeah, it was for The Flash. They had a buy one, get one free offer uh, if you, if you want to watch these movies. Um, 
or no, not if you want to watch these movies. It was just for tickets for The Flash. So you could get one ticket for free if you buy one. This person says, I've never seen a movie do a buy one, get one free sale ever in my life. Oh my God. The Flash is absurd. The shit that happened with this. Warner Brothers tried to get Christian Bale to appear as Batman at the end of The Flash, but he refused. <laughs> Fair. Don't blame him. Uh, the Flash would have made more money if uh, Warner Brothers canceled and scrapped it like they did Batgirl. I believe it. I believe it. It's it's nutty how cosmically awful The Flash was. It's already out on digital because it just did so fucking poorly in theaters. Wish I could understand or comprehend what the fuck was up with that film. And that's all I'm going to say on that. Um... We have a, a game, a Steam page that Steam page that was sent in. Um, Ty, Tyree, Tyrian Cuthbert, uh, attorney of the Arcane. Uh, I guess let's look at this trailer and see see what this sort of is. Um, let's start over at the beginning and then uh, turn the volume on. We saw you murdering the victim. What's more, you supposedly saw her casting magic while doing so. I could never forget such a grisly sight. The moment was burned into my memory. I see. It's funny you say that. How so? Because your entire testimony was a complete lie. So it seems like it's very Ace Attorney inspired right off the bat. That kind of seems to be the, the bit of it. Play as a defense attorney and acquit your clients. However, that same arcane power cell was broken something something. Are you accusing the witness of perjury, Mr. Cuthbert? You should know better than to throw out baseless accusations. My accusation is far from baseless, Steelwind. Think about the state of the crime scene at the time of the murder. The witness couldn't have seen anything, much less a homicide. What? You see a thought that isn't yours? It's lo okay. So it's like Ace Attorney, but with magic? Is that kind of the bit of it? Investigate crime scenes, gather evidence. Broken bottle on the floor, shattered close to the outline. Damn, okay. Make deductions, unearth new secrets. How did the bottle shatter? Okay. Okay, it's clear to anyone how nervous you are. How could you possibly know what he felt about, felt about me? Your Honor, the defense has a right to cross-examine the witness. Tyrion, the witness is a monkey. What? I'll tell you exactly what I have to say to you, you commoner. Uh, but she didn't use first aid. She used magic. I know my rights. Oh, shit. There's no way it could have been anyone other than that damn mage. Okay. Low key. Low fucking key. That kind of goes hard. I'm here for it, actually. The characters seem uh, very Danganronpa-esque, but the background is very Ace Attorney. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I think it is. It seems just like, yeah, I mean, it's literally called Attorney of the Arcane, right? So it's just like Ace Attorney, but magical almost. Um. I, I fuck with it. I, I honestly very fuck with it. That's pretty fun. Uh, the only issue is that, uh, yep, inspired by Ace Attorney, it says here. Um, yeah, the only issue is that I would need to to play Ace Attorney before, before playing this. But we do have plans to play the Ace Attorney trilogy at some point. So someday we will get there. Um, in the meantime, next video we have uh, on here is uh, Kaiba Roses, Roasts Darts. So uh, let's see what, what this is. So you've got a dweeb army. Am I supposed to be scared to attack? Well, only if destroying an innocent soul concerns you. Nah, as the president of a major corporation, I have to do that every day. Damn, fair enough, fair enough. Next on here is a Burger King Whopper commercial, but the guy has an unhinged mental breakdown. You want to get out of my fucking house right fucking now? <laughs> get me the fuck out of here right now. I couldn't hear my parents, so I opened my door and yelled what? Because I had my door shit. And then I get fucking yelled at. And then because I'm in a bad mood, I stormed downstairs. And my fucking asshole of a father called me autistic boy and said that I need to say sorry, mom. Roll your season today. Fuck your 
respective selves. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, is the Burger King Whopper guy okay? Is he is homie okay? We have another Burger King video lined up. This one's not an AI commercial. It's a it's a regular commercial. And it, it says Burger King TV commercial eat like snake. Mmm, meat. Soda. Okay. Ah. What? The what? Uh, 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 what? What? No, don't. What? I, oh, oh my, oh my, go oh my god, what? What the fuck did I just watch? Why? And that's an actual commercial that they actually released? Burger King used to be awesome. What happened? What the fuck happened? Where's the goddamn justice? Next on here, we have a, a Silent Hill trailer. Um, it says Silent Hill 1 HD TJS trailer 1998. Uh, is this so? Is this for the first ever Silent Hill game? Okay. There are this many characters in Silent Hill? Is that real? Back when I thought Silent Hill was going to be next. For the record, it was going to be next until I realized the rain code came out. And then I was like, oh, well, I mean, it's a new release probably takes precedence. So Silent Hill is next, though, like actually after this, after we finish rain code. So... What the fuck? Today I learned that I, I had no idea what Silent Hill 1 looked like. Is this really what Silent Hill 1 looked like? Is this... These are characters in Silent Hill 1? What the fuck is Silent Hill 1 about? What? Honestly, this game looks dope. Why aren't we playing this right now? What the hell? Who made that call? <laughs> Me? Oh. That. I see.
Okay. Damn. Oh shit. Okay. Honestly, that kind of goes hard. Uh, also, yes, Silent Hill 1 does have all these characters, and all the cutscenes seen here were animated by one person. Wow, really? One person did all that? I mean, impressive, honestly. Impressive, impressive. All right, we're going to watch uh, two last things, um, and then that'll be it for watching stuff tonight. Uh, first thing we're going to watch is this YouTube short here, uh, which I believe is about drawing Grimace. So Draw a wide circle, and now for a smaller circle. Connect the two and fill in. I already hate this. I hate Grimace. I hate myself. Okay, the last part was unrelated, but I felt like mentioning it regardless. So, for, for, the, rec for, for the record, I'm sad. Anyway. Okay, let's draw the legs with a thick paintbrush. It's basically four blobs. And now we'll draw two thick tube arms. Add some chubby fingers. Draw a smile. Add a black circle. Let's smooth out the smile. Let's do two small circles for the eyes. Of course, we've got to have the eyelids and some pupils too. Oh, can't forget eyebrows. Okay, now it's time to... I hate Grimace. I hate him. I don't like looking at his fucking purple ass, ugly ass face. Outline everything. That looks great. We'll fill in the eyes. Great's maybe an overstatement. It looks okay. I mean... I guess for what it is, it looks fine, but it's Grimace. So like that takes it down at least five points, maybe even eight. Add a thick red tongue, we'll add a chin line and fill in the eyelids. Okay, it's time to do some shading. Don't forget to do some lines on the feet too. And finally, we'll add some highlights. Okay, let's draw the blood on his hands. Draw the what? bars of his jail cell. Oh no. Draw a key. Now throw it away. We need to keep this freak locked up. He is a dangerous criminal. Do not drink this water. Draw a wide circle. Honestly, this video got extremely based the second they said we need to keep this freak away. And I was like, oh my God, that's what I've been saying. Fuck Grimace. All my homies hate Grimace. It's the end of that sentence. Okay, the last video we're going to watch, and I have already seen this video, but I'll, I'll, I'll throw it on screen uh, for you guys since it was sent in. Uh, it's the Suicide Squad anime. If you haven't heard about it, yep, that's a thing. Suicide Squad. Not just an anime, an isekai anime. Yep. Yep. Honestly, Harley Quinn, peak. It's this guy that makes me want to, to die. We'll pause again when there's a better uh, shot of his face. Let's 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 go. Let's go back to yeah, look at this shot. So it's he's a drawn on mouth, but there's his actual you can see his actual mouth right there. Um this design for Joker makes me want to stop living a lot. But do y'all, do y'all, do y'all see this? Do y'all see this? Trape motherfucking Nagatsuki. Possibly my favorite author of all time somehow is penning the goddamn screenplay for... Suicide Squad. The author of ReZero, who recently had also done Vivi, is is doing is doing Suicide Squad. 
So regardless of how Joker's design makes me want to actually, uh, you know, lobotomize myself with a soup spoon, um, let's be real. It's got to be peak. I can't imagine to pay Nagatsuki writing a script for this that wasn't like S tier, wasn't like the greatest thing ever written. To pay fucking Nagatsuki. How did they get him? How did they get one of the greatest living authors to 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 do to to do Suicide Squad? I wish I knew. But it's why I think it's gonna be peak. Dare I say Kino? Dare I say cinema? Oh yeah, that's Amanda Waller, huh? I didn't even remember she was in. But also, for the record, for the record, if if the if the anime sucks, there are technically two writers credited. It's Tepe Nagatsuki and a co-writer. So if it sucks, we can blame the co-writer, and Tepe Nagatsuki remains uh, perfect in my heart. So I'm just saying that on the record. That's my take ahead of time in case it sucks. Uh, and if it's great, all the credit goes to Tepe. So he probably needed a lot of money. Yeah. I mean, he's a uh, bro. I mean, ReZero is like fucking like makes bank. I don't think Tepe needs any more money. I mean, I'm not saying that he did it because he thought it would be like a uh, really creative, like that he was like inspired to do so. It was probably for the paycheck. However, I don't think it was because he needed it. Like, I don't think he was like, oh, I guess I have to take this. He probably was just like, oh, well, this could be fun. I get, get some good money for it. Sure. Why not? Which can you blame the guy? Can you blame the guy? Uh, long story short, the cutscene animator for Silent Hill had to choose between animating every cutscene himself or not getting in the credits of the final game. What the fuck? What? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why? That's... Ugh. E. Ugh. Terrible. Okay, guys. I'm out of wine. I'm gonna get more. I also want to pee. And maybe if there's time, find a pillow, sob into it for about 45 extra seconds. Uh, you know, if there's time. Maybe, who knows? Maybe there won't be. When I come back, we're going to, fingers crossed, hopefully actually start the game. We're going to play Chapter Zero of Rain Code. Again, hopefully. Presuming that nothing goes horribly wrong in the meantime. Uh, but that's the goal. So... I'm going to throw up the Be Right Back screen, which implies, uh, of course, as one would assume, that I will, in fact, be right back. Um, and then, well, I'll, I'll be right back. That's kind of the, that's the bit of it. It's that I, I'm going to, yeah. So, um, see you in a few moments, my friends, in a few minutes. I'll be back soon. And we're going to play the actual game that we're supposed to be playing. And then I will cry. So.
We just want to do some karaoke before we uh, play any games. Wait, did I close the door behind me? Yes, I did. Let me lock my door. I don't trust the door anymore. Ah! Casually falls. <laughs> Caleb is getting a good long cry in this right. That's exactly what I was doing, actually. I found a good pillow. And I was like, okay, 45 seconds, in and out, good cry, coming in. Uh, and then it just kept going. And it kept going. And it still kept going. And it never, ever stopped. So, I mean, that's, yeah. So karaoke, right? Okay, let's, uh, I, have a, I have a karaoke song I want to do. Um, so... You're welcome in advance. We're serenading. And then we'll uh, uh, try to actually play the game. I'll throw up the lyrics on the on the screen so you guys can sing along. Um, let me see if I can track it down. So this was clickbait. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, sing along stream is good. Not the whole stream. Just one song. I just want to sing my sorrows away. Um, because you, have you guys heard the, uh, the Richard, the Richard cheese creep cover? It's a cover of that fucking song creep, uh, where it's like, I'm a creep, I'm a weirdo, like that whole fucking song. Richard cheese does, a, does one, but it's like, it's very like show tuny, like very peppy. You're like in a, you, you'll hear, it. I'll, I'll sing it for you guys. And then you guys can, uh can can understand what i'm talking about with this so uh that's what we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna watch uh we're gonna not watch we're gonna listen we're gonna sing along to to this real fast um we're just gonna do one one little one little karaoke bit and then we're good this is practice for next karaoke stream i want to do this one on our next karaoke stream so Ah, uh, that's that's the the that's what I'm saying. But okay, Ugh. you know, folks, I was uh, talking with my honey the other day. My Pablo, honey, I said to her, I said, Pablo, honey, I said, I said, you go to my head, my radio head. <laughs> okay, computer. When you were here before, couldn't look you in the eye. You're just like an angel. Your skin makes me cry. You float like a feather in a beautiful world. I wish I was special. You're so fucking special. Hey, but I'm a creep. I'm a weird. Oh, what the heck am I doing? I don't belong here. I don't care if it hurts. I want to have control. I want a perfect body and a matching soul. I want you to notice when I'm not here. You're so freaking special. I wish I was special. Oh, but I'm a great. Oh. I'm a weirdo, what the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. No, 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 no. This is a whistling part. Everyone whistle along at home. I, I don't know how to whistle, so I can't. But if you guys can whistle, then this is the part where you're supposed to whistle. Um, it's still going, so I'm just going to talk through it. Uh, because otherwise I'm just sitting here while it's whistling. I feel like that's weird. Not as weird as me doing this in the first place, but anyway. Whatever makes you happy, whatever you want, you're so very special. I'll have that special. Hey, but I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. What the heck am I doing here? I don't belong here. I'm a creep. I'm a nut job. What the hell am I doing here? 
So fucking rock. True, true. Thanks, Sofa King. Coming in clutch. Coming in fucking clutch. Oh shit, super chat twenty dollars. Whistling along at home at you. Fuck yeah. We appreciate the whistlers. Y'all are the real heroes here, honestly. We stand the the whistlers at home. Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh thank you for, for letting me sing this because I really wanted to that's the end of that sentence and thought but uh, it was a pretty good it was pretty good right it was pretty fun i don't know if i didn't actually adjust my microphone setting so i have literally no idea if that even came out as like legible but i just wanted to sing um and drink more so we're slowly getting closer to the roblox stream i'm excited oh shit yeah we, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, we're 130 away. Honestly, I keep forgetting the Roblox stream is the next one. I'm, I'm not prepared for it. So when, when the Roblox stream happens, I'm fucked. I'm not ready. I, I'm, oh God. I mean, I, I suppose it'll go hard. I, I maybe. Uh, I mean, we'll, we'll have to. Oh God. And then there's an Among Us stream too, with everyone on the Discord. I forgot that was like the original main goal. Honestly, we'll go hard. Anyway, um, so, guys, let's see. Let's see if we can play rank code. I, I'm going to need you guys. All right, this is going to be a partnership, okay? I need you guys to do something for me. And by do something for me, I mean specifically, um, I need you guys to tell me if it is way too choppy there's a chance it might just not work right uh, in which case i can try to adjust things and hopefully it'll work I, I the thing is is i was testing it before stream and i got it to run smoothly with the switch and everything but it will be iffy so i'm gonna need you guys to just let me know how it's looking and how it runs uh, as soon as we switch onto the switch so uh that is my preamble I appreciate you guys' uh, assistance with that, and let's hop right in to... Okay, so I I don't know what... Okay, let's... Give me a second. Is it... Oh, wait. 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 Oh. 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 Okay. I have my my switch control in hand. Okay. Wait. Is it? Okay. Now. Oh wait. Is it? Okay. Rain code. And. Here we go. Okay. 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 Let's see. Hoping it's working. Who's playing Mario Kart is Princess Zelda. So what if I fucking was? That's Mario Kart's peak. So you know. Uh, <laughs> okay. So what is? All right. Um. I see you have Breath of the Wild. I think that was Tears of the Kingdom actually. Uh, actually, I didn't really look close enough, so may maybe it wasn't. I, I don't even know. All right. Okay, hopefully this all works, uh, and we'll find out. So, any button press. 
It seems to be running okay. It's working so far. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's see if that keeps up. New game. By the way, I think there's some rule that you can only stream up to chapter five or something. Okay, but I'm just gonna ignore that. So maybe, maybe not. No, I'm kidding. I definitely am gonna ignore that probably. Anyway. Whoa. Okay, it's a book and a skull and a tree. And a what is the fuck is this? Okay. The musician for Danganronpa is back. Oh my god, this slaps. True, it's peak. Okay. Anyway, that was a good nap. I nearly slept through the whole thing. Let's see. What? All right, there's something I have to do first. Okay, human, listen up. First, I'll have you select your difficulty. Oh Choose no. Wisely. Complain about it later, and I'll boom kill ya. Boom now kill? Then, display the options. Okay, lenient, mean, troublesome, adorable. What 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 are these what do these translate to? Because, I mean, lenient, mean, troublesome, that makes sense. But why? what does adorable mean? Is that, like, extra hard? I, I guess I want to say lenient because I, I, I don't want to get fucked. So, the soul you see is love for her body and hated for her odd personality. Fair enough. Oh, you sure about that? What? Don't say I didn't warn you. Wait, what? Wait, I hit hmm. lenient, right? You want to know what difficulty that is? The one you selected is how difficult yours truly will be on you. I'll be as difficult with you as you wish. So I hope you're ready. Wait, what? No, to be honest, it's all the same no matter what you pick. Fuck off. I'm your really? Lenient, mean, troublesome, adorable partner, after all. They really hit us with the ready? no. There's no real difficulty. We fucking real? lied to you. Do you I guess. Seriously wanna start? Is this an seriously? actual question? Real? Last time you lied to me, so start for real. Yes, yeah, seriously. Okay, what? If, what if I hit don't start? Aww, you're not gonna start. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm guess not. This is goodbye then. I'll delete your game now. Bye. Wait, really? Just kidding. Oh. Uh. Can't end things here. So, what is it gonna be? Are you gonna start or not? I do see there is a little line that kind of keeps popping up. I hope that's not too bothersome for you guys. I can try to see if I think that's something with the HDMI connection, perhaps. Oh, okay, fine. I guess I can't not start. So, what if I try not starting again, though? Start. Guess this is goodbye then. Okay, I'm skipping through. Uh, seemingly, it just replays the same. Okay, fine. Okay, I guess uh, start for real. Fine. Guess you're really here for it. Sounds like you're just dying to solve some mysteries. You just can't wait to go on adventures with me, right? I I guess. Sure. <laughs> are so weird well let's get this started it's time to embark on my lovely thrilling wonderful mystery solving adventure let's go okay Ooh, Chapter Zero, Massacre on the Amaterasu Express. That goes hard. That's a good title. I'm here for it. Oh. Oh, 
Okay. Whoa! What's going on? Wait. Huh? Where am I? Weird. So was that last scene canon or was that just for the player? We're just jumping right into shit, huh? Who? What? Like Kyoko type shit? Does he, is he not know who he is? What? You just fucking left? Okay. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. Huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? 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 Why? How? Huh? I can't remember anything. Does that mean? Do I have? What was it called? Amnesia? Bro, what the fuck? Okay, cringe fucking line. Do I have? Oh, what was it? Oh, amnesia, right. That thing. I mean, I guess. Doesn't amnesia only affect, like, your normal memories, not your knowledge of things? Or is that just how fiction writes amnesia? Either way, that's a cringe line, I think. But maybe I'm wrong. Uh, all right. Calm down. Take a deep breath. By the way, I want to point out the body and even voice is Kibo. Oh, shit. Really? Yeah. Intr yeah, no, you're kind of right, though. You kind of I didn't, didn't recognize the voice, but that makes sense. And I do kind of see the resemblance with Kibo design wise. Interesting. <sighs> Dang it. I can't remember anything. Where am I? Who am I? Why can't I remember? Inside your pocket. Huh? Uh, what? Check. Your belongings. Who's there? Am I hearing things too? I lost my memories and now I'm hearing things. What's going on? Ow! Oh my, my controller just buzzed. That's how you know this is like immersive. <laughs> oh, what now? I can't catch a break. Hmm. Check my belongings. Huh. Are his pupils hearts? Oh, are they? Or do they do they change shape? I think now they're they don't look like heart. Wait, they look like they just look like circles with like a droop at the bottom. But I don't know if they change depending on his sprite. An envelope. Notice. World Detective Organization Human Resources. Oh, not HR. Dear Yuma Coco Head, you are hereby dispatched to the special autonomous zone of Kanai Ward. It's basically Kibo, but he has the first detective hair. Okay, fair enough. Dispatch duration indefinite. Use the enclosed ticket to board the Amaterasu Express to Kanai Ward. Rendezvous with the master detectives on site. Why the fuck is the, the actual animation on his model feels very weird to me because it's like there's a, the, everything else is moving at like the proper frame rate it looks like but like his ma mo mouth model is like like so slow and stuttery upon arrival like, look at that to the nocturnal detective agency world detective organization Kanai Ward branch Okay, I mean, fair enough though. So I guess we're in close. We're in we're boarding the express with all the master detectives, uh, and then we're gonna go to the nocturnal detective agency for some reason. There, you will receive further instructions. Go forth, proud detectives. Eliminate all mysteries from this world. You okay. know, Coco Head. That's my name. Thinking on it, I guess that sounds right. He's speaking in slow motion. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know what's up with the model. It seems very weird to me. That's right. I finally remember. My name is Yuma. 
I'm Yuma Coco Head. Yuma Coco Head. That's a classic uh, little uh, intro scrawl there. Okay. Yuma Coco Head. What's this about a world detective organization? WDO? It sounds significant. <laughs> Am I a part of it? Seemingly. If that's the case. Am I a detective? Not a very good one if it's if you still haven't figured that shit out, am I right? I guess these kinda look like a detective's clothes. I think there was a patch for that. Oh what, the model? I'm pretty sure I, I only just installed this right before stream, so I don't think I think this is the most recent patch. Um I hate his last name. Coco Head. That last name doesn't sound real. Yeah, it's a fucking dumbass. That, yeah, Yuma Coco Head. He's crazy for Coco Head. It seems I was supposed to get on a train. Or at least I think so. By the way, check everything. Like what, in the room or something? I, I assume they're going to let us free roam or something soon. Uh, I can do so when that comes up. If, assuming that's what you mean. Master Detectives? Am I one of them uh, clearly a fucking god awful one come on get faster on the uptake my my guy could there be someone who knows me on the train that that's interesting maybe maybe here's the ticket let's check the schedule that's in japanese hey i can't it's almost time well i should get on that train i'll find out more about myself if i meet someone who knows me unless no one knows him in which case Sucks for him. Attention! Oh, oh, hello, character. You're back. Uh, it says before rushing off to the train, let's start with basic controls. Walk around and explore the the room. Oh yeah, I recommend moving the camera around to explore the surroundings. Shut the fuck. Up. Every time I touch something, she makes a goddamn noise. What the fuck is this? Uh, it says places with an examination marker can be inspected and okay a to inspect otherwise it's left right oh, for character camera controls fair Better enough write this down. shut the fuck up anyway uh, you can fast forward and auto advance through dialogue uh cinematics can be skipped would never skip a cinematic so that's i don't know why it, it would say that um but okay cool Oh, and there's more. I thought that was it, but that was not. Um, detective points can be earned by conducting detective activities, investigation, gathering info, and more. Um, okay, so it's just like a, a kind of. It's like in the old Lego games, how you had the you had to get the certain amount of studs to become like a master builder or, or something like that. I think right? Is no a mass. You got some sort of like stud counter that was like points, right? It's like that, but for detective stuff. There's probably a much better example I could have used. I don't know why Lego games were the first one that came to my mind, but uh sure hope you got all that down. Shut the fuck up. Uh earning DP increases the detective rank. Maybe something cool will happen when the rank goes up. Okay. Sure. Don't you forget. Oh, why could put all this on one screen? They keep making me think I'm through the instructions and then they throw another one on. Um, it was Jedi Master, I think. Ah, yep, yep, yep. I think you're right. I think you're right. At least for the Lego one. I think it changed game to game or something, but I think you're, you're correct with that. Okay, but it says uh, exclamation point icons on the mini map mark. Uh, the next objective and or people to talk with. Fair enough. Casually breaks my screen. Okay. Um. So I guess I just go up to things and inspect the. Oh, it says ZR to zoom in on map. Oh, on the the map can zoom in and zoom out. I see. Uh, okay. Yeah. What does this say? Shelf Why with umbrellas. So many umbrellas. 
The label reads, Lost Items Temporary Storage. Okay. Bags, hats, and books. A lot of stuff has been placed here. Okay, fair enough. Um, What is this? Toy robot? A toy robot? It looks sturdy. The label says, Lost Items. Okay. All right. Um, that reminded me of the who was it? Shoma and in, in Nirvana Initiative. His fucking robot. That's what that brought to mind. Um, what is this? Hand mirror. See myself. I'm still not used to this. Okay. Um, cardboard box. This is. There's a cardboard box here. I can peek inside through the hole. But it's too dark to make anything out. Okay. Um, this is back of the room. Hmm. There's something in the back, but I can't get through with all the things in the... Usually how it goes, yeah. That's usually how, how it works. Um, stuff might fall if I try to move it. I better not go back there. Okay, now I'm worried that something is back there and they're hiding it from us can we see anything back there at all of note i don't see any corpses so we're probably uh, 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 uh. yeah i don't see anything so i am i'm assuming we're all fine um did i get everything at this point i think i have because i i did go over yep okay i think we can just go over to the door then right i get it the place where I was sleeping was, in fact... Uh, I guess, what, just gym storage? Maybe no, the lost and found? Storage space. The lost and found. No, that doesn't sound right. I don't know why I thought gym storage. Why was I sleeping here? That didn't make any sense. Did but... I faint? Or was I attacked? If so, then who did it? Attention passengers departing this station. So we're at the station. We're not on the train yet. Monokuma's hiding back there for sure. Honestly, wouldn't doubt it. Would not doubt it. Please board immediately. The train will depart soon. Uh, I have to get on that train. I better hurry. Uh, is it... Is it gonna... Is it gonna play? Is it gonna continue? There we go. It took a second. It was a bit of loading. I don't do loading screens. Hot take. <laughs> I'm sorry. Imagine he misses the train and just like. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay. time I, I guess thank you for choosing the Amaterasu Express Direct to Kanai Ward I will say this is a weird beginning to the game I'm, I'm not I mean I'll okay let's see our train utilizes Amaterasu Corporation's state-of-the-art technology for an automated safe and comfortable service calling it now I don't trust Amaterasu Corporation they they are sus Just because they're a, a corporation and they have state of the art technology, only those two things. There is no crew aboard the train. Thank you what? for your understanding and support. Uh, that seems like a very stupid idea, but I guess it's thanking me for my understanding and support. So, I mean, it's not like I'm gonna say, like, I mean, who am I to argue with these geniuses? So. Automatic? So nobody's driving this thing. This train has five cars. Okay. It will operate non-stop to its destination. I really feel like this is a bad like what if some what if someone gets murdered? If someone gets murdered in this chapter, I'm going to say, I told you so, for the record. Uh, I'd like to point out it's not the prologue but chapter zero, so it might mean someone uh, might be dying. I believe it. I believe there's gonna be a murder. Probably. 
Uh, and there's not an, any crew, so they really uh, fucked up. I guess we're a bunch of detectives, so we'll probably like figure that shit out. But, like, food still. and beverages are available in car two. Yo, let's go! Food and beverages. Okay, we're winning. Restrooms are available in car one and car five. Only those two? What if you're in the middle of the train and you need to like pee? You have to go all the way to the front or back? Kind of sucks. In case of an emergency, visit the backup control room in car three and contact control headquarters via the intercom. That certainly won't come in relevance later. I cannot believe it would ever possibly. Nope. Chekhov's gun? Never heard of her. We hope Him. you enjoy it. your trip aboard the Amaterasu Express on your journey to Kadai Ward. So there are five cars. Yeah. This must be car one at the front. Such a, a brilliant detective. She's like, oh, the, there's a one. I wonder. Wait. It's car one. Oh my god. I better find the other detectives and meet up with them. You okay. Can use this. More fucking controls. All right. Uh, okay, this is probably useful though. It's the notebook menu. Um, it says it has features and info useful for investigations, uh, and it marks it with a new marker when info gets updated. Check, check. Shut the fuck up. Um, in case files, you can see an outline of an of the ongoing case and the next objective. Okay. No, this stuff's vital. Okay. Uh, and save load. Okay. You definitely want to remember this. You can save whenever we can walk around freely, but there are occasionally exceptions. Okay, noted. And that's a wrap. Stop making dialogue, please. I don't want to hear you. I'm just reading. Shut the fuck up. God. Uh, in options, game settings can be. Uh, okay, yeah. So this is all not really that. Whatever. It's just okay. Um. Up, le down, left, right, A, return, and then Y is the button to open and close the menu. So that is that is useful to know, I suppose. Uh, so this is the menu. Uh, we can look down at case You're files. Not Why not check your notes? I don't need you to sass me, fucking ghost creature thing. Um, okay, massacre on the... It's already called... Ma oh, yeah, I forgot that was the name of the chapter. Okay, so there's definitely going to be a death is what I'm realizing. Um, yeah, it's just giving us a summary of what's kind of happening right now. Profiles. Whatever you gotta to get the job done. Okay. Um, Burn it into your brain. I don't... It, it just... It, it's kind of self-explanatory. Uh, likes detective novels. Dislikes amnesia. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, okay. Fair enough. Um, glossary. So simple. So simple, you'd almost think you didn't have to tell me how to use a glossary. I but see. I, this, this fucking ghost is going to wear down on my will to live. I'm telling you now. It's, it's just, um, okay. I'm, I'm a, I'm a Tarasu Express Direct. Uh, just telling us all the stuff we've learned, basically. Um, master detective. Uh, location. A name. Great. Uh, okay, so I don't really think we... I, I do like that it shows our next objective right there at the top. It just says find the master detectives in the train. That's pretty useful to know. Um, okay, let's go back. Cool. Uh, this setting is a cyberpunk dystopia, and you won't change my mind. <laughs> Honestly? Yeah, I, I think you, you're you're kind of onto something there. I feel like that seems accurate enough. All right, let us uh, go forward and prosper. Can we go into a room? Oh my god, we actually can. There's a sink and toilet inside. This must be the restroom. Great deductive skills there, my my friend. I knew that it said bathroom on the door. There's no one inside it right now. Yeah, I want to go inside it. That was why I'm going inside of it. Ooh, can I go in a stall? Excuse me. So I can open it? 
I knew it. Y yeah, yeah. Oh, fine. Fine, fine, fine. What's out the window? Hmm. Uh, yeah, we can't open it, but. Oh my god. I don't see any. De He's just like, we're. Nope, no detectives in here. I guess we shouldn't look around. All right, fine, fine. I guess I shouldn't. Okay, I want to look at the mirror real fast. Hmm. I can see my reflection in the perfectly polished mirror. I'm still not used to it. Is that really my face? See, that is interesting. That the sort of dysphoria here, I find very fascinating. Okay, I guess we should just kind of press onward and try to just go forward uh, to find the other detectives since it, uh, it it's not infirmary. Okay, actually, I know I said we were gonna go forward. Uh, I lied. I want to go in here. I see a clean looking bed. And this is probably the infirmary. It said infirmary on the door. My guy, just read it and you're good. That's you don't have to like deduce any it says it on the door. What are you talking about? Okay. There's no one inside right now. Did you want to see someone peeing? Maybe maybe I did. I just wanted to be able to have the option to pee myself. Like what if Yuma was holding in some stuff? I just wanted to go in the stall, but I wasn't allowed, so. It's locked, but there's no one inside. Yeah, I don't know why Yuma was trying to actually get inside of the the stall, though. He was really trying to look for detectives in the bathroom stall. That was kind of what he was... I thought I was trying to go in there to pee, but he was like, Is someone in there? Can I find somebody in the, in the, in the bathroom stall? Oh, I can't even go in the infirmary. Okay, noted. Uh, is this main control room okay it says main control room b the door is locked and won't open okay i see a driver's seat in there but no one's inside well i mean there's a machine but hmm. it's not on weird that they there's a room for driver's seat but we're on a train with no drivers so that's kind of odd i think but okay uh, i wonder interesting very interesting uh, I guess I'll look around this car a little more. What? Okay. I I thought you... Okay. All right. <laughs> it's a map of the train. Mm -hmm. The first and last cars can control the train. The rest are passenger cars. Okay. Was that the whole... Oh, okay. I guess it was. Sometimes Yuma can read and sometimes he can't, which is kind of hilarious. Yeah, he's very selective on, on reading. Um, I mean, I've never had amnesia, so I don't know how it works, but I, I'm pretty sure it doesn't work like that. Um, the kid just wants to know who he is. Res I mean, fair enough, honestly. I can respect that. Um, okay, so wait. Well, let me go through now. Uh... No, no, it will not. The fuck else is there for me to look at? Because I've looked, and it won't let me go to this door. Uh, and I looked at the infirmary. Uh, oh wait, I guess there is there is a little exclamation point up on the map, huh? What is what is that? It's this thing, huh? What is? Th oh, another main control. It says room. main control room A. Doors locked. It won't open. There's a driver's so seat. So it's the inside. same but same bit the as the other one. Functioning. Yeah. Driver's seats on both sides of the train. I think that means they can go in either direction. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, I kind of sounded like a real detective there. Is that re is that is that was that real detective work, my guy? I feel like you were just kind of. I mean, okay, sure. Yeah. All right. Um. My theory already is that uh, the game is gaslighting us and he's not actually a real detective. And it's like at the end of the game, he's going to be like, I think I, I finally um, I'm a real detective. And they're like, no, you're actually never a detective. <laughs> you read someone else's letter and you thought that was your identity and you thought you were a detective. You're just some random fucking kid. Uh, so, uh, sorry. That's yeah. You just stole someone else's invitation and identity. Huh? Someone's there. I heard a voice behind the door. Let the kid have a win. I refuse. I refuse. Yuma, 
has yet to earn any wins in my book. But okay, so who's behind the door? Oh, he looks very happy. Oh, it's a lot of people. Yo, it's the whole squad. Ha! Ah. Oh my god, okay. I actually really fuck with their designs. Like, genuinely? Okay. I'm here for it. Excuse me. Are you with the World Detective Organization? I mean, probably, yeah. You are, right? You're Master Detectives, aren't you? I want to talk to the girl with cool makeup. We are. But who are you? Uh, also, also a detective. Very good one, for, for the record. We're just... We, we solved that the train can go in, in two directions, so that was a that was a win for us, but I give Caleb permission to bully the child. <laughs> Fuck yeah! There's no one I love bullying more than children. Um, I'm with you. I think I'm also a master detective of the World I think. Detective Organization. That was his deduction. A boy like you? Master detective of the WDO? It... Seems like it. Seems like it. Like hell, dumbass! Huh? A runt like you, a master detective? <laughs> You're just shooting your mouth off. You look like a shriveled anteater. Anteater? What? Why anteater? That's such a specific insult. What's the meaning of this? Oh, I love her sprite design. Oh my god. A lot of nerve posing as a master detective. Die. Die right here, right now. The girl with the makeup looks like Mew, I swear, does it not? Uh, let me wait to see her sprite again. I can see a little resemblance. I mean, to be fair, though, it is all in the same sort of art style as Danganronpa, so I think they're naturally going to have some resemblance for sure. But uh, and does that dude's face not look like uh, Kazu Kazuchika? You mean like Kazuichi? Or, I mean, they all just look like... It's the Danganronpa style, right? So the, I, I think there's just going to be some resemblance with characters. Wait, please hear me out. Oh, right. I, I have proof that I'm a master detective. Okay. What if a you stole that from off someone's body? What if you murdered the real detective and then posed and then lost your memory, but you didn't remember that you murdered the other guy, and that's why you have the letter? That's my theory. It's real. There's no mistake about it. What? Are you serious? Yeah, but how do we know it's ours? Is there proof that it's actually ours? Looks like there's a reason behind this. Go ahead and tell us. I'll allow it. Right. Thank you. But there's really not much to explain. What? What's... Oh, it's skipping his explanation? Damn, okay. And that's what happened. Amnesia looks that way. Amnesia, oldest twist in the book. I was hoping one of you would know who I am. Hearing this type of music again feels like coming home. Honestly, fair. I really do fuck with the music. It's very, yeah, Danganronpa-esque. It's, it's very comforting. I like it. Apparently not. I can, yeah, okay. So, J-Series, I can get a little bit of Mew. Uh, not like a ton but i mean it's definitely still that same danganronpa like female character design so i i can see sort of where you're getting the resemblance there a little bit no way we're on the same team but no one knows me then who am i uh yuma coco head clearly that's what i want most know. fake fucking name sounding ass besides even if the letter is real you may not be the right recipient. That's what I'm saying. Why do you suspect me? Because you have no memory, and your deductive reasoning is dog shit. There is a reason why. Why? But first, what? do you know what the World Detective Organization is all about? Probably, like, detecting stuff. Um, Detectiving things. A little things. bit? I think I remember a little. Or not. Mew mixed with Sayaka? Yeah, yeah, I think that's a... Uh, uh, yeah, I think that makes... Yeah, that seems about right. Guess not. 
So you called yourself a member without even knowing. Yes, sorry. Well, I suppose it's a master detective's duty to shepherd the lost. Okay, fuck off. Who's this voice actor? That sounds like someone, but I can't place it. Very well, I'll tell you. Maybe you'll regain your memories after hearing what I have to say. I doubt it, but that that would be cool, Thank I guess. You. Okay. Um so Is that Oh, I guess he has the the exclamation point on him. So that's I guess we go talk to him. Listen up. The World Detective Organization is. Yuma has literal stars in his eyes. They aren't hearts, but stars. Wait, are they stars? Okay, wait. Uh, next time a sprite pops up, I'm going to take a closer look. I think uh, that's wacky. An extra legal, extra privileged organization devoted to eradicating the world's unsolved mysteries. Extra legal, extra privileged. Wow, he's really, he's like, yo, so I, this organization I'm in has a lot of privilege. We are privileged as fuck. What a flex, honestly. Goddamn, he's just spouting off. Sounds like some what someone with privilege would say. Their branches exist throughout the world, and their investigations are handled by master detectives. The cat ear personality kind of sounds like Byakia. Honestly? Loki? You might actually be right it's like it's different enough because it's not the same like voice as Byakia but it sounds like it could be the same voice actor it's definitely got there's some of that cadence I can for sure detect someone should uh cross reference and, and get back to me to see if it is actually Byakia or not as of now there are roughly 1,000 master detectives in the WDO okay all have powers specializing in investigation so it's just like the, a union kind of but for detectives powers they are supernatural powers used in investigation known as forensic fortes people who develop talents such as clairvoyant or mind reading they train at the organization to harness these special powers which aid in their investigations okay those who manage to gain a forte are recognized as master detectives and given a detective deed which means, if you're a master detective, it should say so on your license. Okay, do we have an ID? Detective Deed? It's an identification card. Check your pockets. D Imagine he had an ID this whole time, just didn't think to check. Which, if so, more evidence that oh, he's- Oh, oh no! I'm not trying to trick anyone! Oh, I accidentally hit skip. I was going to say it's more evidence he's not a master detective if you missed that, but it seems like he does not have an ID, and then they were accusing him of stuff. That's what I just skipped over. Um, pardon me. He seems to be the only one accused of being an imposter. But how about the rest of you? <laughs> Jay Serious goes, Oh, hey, Ellen, it's me, Kokichi's brother. <laughs> oh, yes, it's Kokichi has been... <laughs> Role playing as his own brother, or maybe he actually has a brother. Uh, he, we've gone back and forth on if it's the same person or two different people. Uh, either way, it's a good bit. It's a good. I, I still. The thing is, now there's only J series, no Kokichi. So J series, if you're not just Kokichi, then where is Kokichi been? And this is where I, I wait for Kokichi to pop back in chat to, to disprove that, that they're not for sure the same person. <laughs> If you require he has some sort of proof, then the same would apply to everyone here. Does... I mean, everyone else would probably have their IDs, right? Huh. The hell did you just say? Okay, maybe not. She's right. Everyone here has just met for the first time. Naturally, we would doubt one another. Huh? First time? So, you guys don't know each other? Yeah, so I guess we're all kind of... I mean, it just seems like we're basically in a union and we all get invited to a train where someone's probably going to get framed for a murder. Or maybe one of us is going to get murdered and then someone else is going to get framed for it. Yeah, seems about right. Master detectives rarely meet together. 
We each travel the world on our own, solving cases. Yeah, Kokichi left because he got a call about a banana. <laughs> as one does. Oh, it's the banana call. Oh, this is an important business call. I'm being, they're calling me about a banana. Sorry, I gotta, gotta take this real fast. I mean, I respect it. Kokichi has important business matters to attend to, and I think that's that is important. Keep your priorities in check, right? I've never seen so many gathered together for a case like this. We thought all of the summoned members had shown up and were about to start introductions. Then you walked in. What? Why would you think that was everyone? Oh, I guess because we were probably late because he took fucking forever to leave the goddamn first car. He was like, oh, sorry, I have to... Oh, I can't leave the first car yet. I have to double check the, the other room. Oh, the room has nothing in it. Okay, I guess I can go now. It took so fucking long in the first room. Of course they thought no one else was left. I see. Well, let's start the introductions. We'll include the tardy one as well. Okay, fuck you. Tardy, like we had a specific time we were meeting. Okay, sure. Uh, union where everyone in the union has actual superpowers. <laughs> Literally, where we're all just like, we have not just superpowers, detective superpowers. Because we're all ultimate detectives, but like with a special ability. Because that's how, that's how detectives work. What? You still want to do introductions? With the imposter too? Okay. Fuck you, I guess. But It's all right. vital for us to ascertain each of our identities moving forward. I mean, our identity is not that helpful. We know our name, and it's a really stupid name, and that is the only thing we know about ourselves. All the more reason due to this perplexing circumstance. Okay. Perplexing circumstance? What does he mean by that? Now, let's begin. Okay. Oh, they're making me... Oh, I have to talk to each of them? Okay, I'm talking to a girl with makeup first because I like her. Hey, young man. Mm, already a win. Already a win. Step on me. Mm, me? That's I mean, right. I didn't say that. Nothing. Come here. Stand before me. Ooh, why? Step on me? Oh! <gasps> uh, whoa. Huh? Let's fucking What's go! On? We're winning. We're winning. Oh no, I didn't mean to. I got too excited. I'm measuring uh, you. I'm not gonna complain. Uh, um. Whoa. Oh. Ah. Hmm. Is she? <laughs> she's Stay for sure grabbing for some. I'll okay. Be quick. <laughs> Do I? She gets to touch us more if I hold it on the screen, right? Asking for a friend. Thank you. I like that the costume. Not costume, suit. No. Sure. Well. Uh, uniform, that's the word. My name is Melanie Goldmine. What the f My home is What are with these North last Canada. names? It should have been me, not him. Hashtag where's the justice? Too real. I feel you blasting fire. That is that's way too fucking real. Up there is a branch with detectives adept at spiritism. I was also active there as a medium. Okay. So she's like a psychic detective? This is making me feel things. That's what I I am with you. I am like, oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> Melanie Goldmine. Already my favorite. For the record. Already my favorite. I can summon the souls of the dead by using my body as a vessel. Comes back to the chat wearing a banana costume. <laughs> I'm a banana. I'm a banana. Look at me. I'm a banana. So your your business call was about a banana costume, Kokichi. I see. I see. okay. I should have realized. Of course, that's. Oh my god! Sparkle Angel literally just spoke the words in my head. I was literally a second away from saying never change, Kokichi. 
Charcoal Angel got me, r beat me to it. That's beautiful. Oh my God. Summon a soul? Can you summon anyone who has died? Like, for example, the victim of a crime? Yes, of course. Okay. I mean, that's kind of cool, I, I suppose. But there is one condition. Okay. I require the clothes that person wore while they were still alive. Does she have to, like, wear them? Because if so, uh... <clears throat> <laughs> that's kind of, that's kind of hot. Anyway, um... Only by wearing their clothes can I summon their soul. It is by wearing their clothes. Oh, I'm excited for a murder to take place. For no reason at all. But I read between the lines, friends. Hence <clears throat> why my powers don't work on people smaller than me. Or if the person is far bigger. Overall, oh. the size must match. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh... So, well, I guess if we die, we're fucked. I guess we're not coming back. So, that's that's, I, I guess fair enough. I, I mean, sure. Uh, like I've said before, me and Caleb share a brain cell. Too real though. Too fucking real. That's you are absolutely right with that. <laughs> also, I can't abide outfits with no fashion sense. What? Filthy reeking clothes are always out of the question. Is she? The psychic mediums won't allow me to wear something that isn't going to be drip. I need it to be very drippy. The, the, the mediums, the spirits must be drippy. Fair enough, honestly. Honestly, I kind of love her. I'm in love with her. I want to... I need to... I, okay, in my defense, I've had alcohol in my system. So if I say too many down bad things about Melanie Goldmine, uh, don't blame it on me. Blame it on the... Uh, 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 alcohol... Sounds more like a preference than a condition. Clothes make a man. They reveal all about one's livelihood. Ooh. Like skin worn over skin. Ooh. That's what clothes are all about. May I just say, uh, okay, first, I was going to say two things. First of all, this is a good line. Second of all, the line right before this was stupid. But it was the, a very classic Kodaka line. Because I feel like in all of Kodaka's writing that I've seen, like mostly just Danganronpa really, but like the way that he'll, he'll deliver comedy is he delivers a comedic line or like a funny thing, but then he has like the main character's internal monologue like explain the joke. Where like here it was like, oh, that seems more like a preference than a condition. And it's like, yes, that was the, it's like Kodaka doesn't, like he's just like, he, has, he, he writes an always an extra line like explaining the joke. In case you didn't get the that it was it was it was like kind of a goofy goofy thing goofy character trait but yeah um, I'm so excited to be able to comfortably simp for the characters in this game since they are mostly adults here. True, true. Thank fuck. Finally, no more. That's the 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 one good thing about not being in uh, Danganronpa anymore is no more Ultimate High School. Now we're Ultimate Detectives, who are probably overage, hopefully. Hopefully. Definitely Melamy, so I'm here for Melamy. All across Consider the board. Consider that when compared to bare skin, clothing has a greater surface area seen by other people. True, true. Therefore, clothes are an expression of a person's identity and originality. Spitting, honestly. You ever think about how you've never heard of ghosts being naked? No. No, I have not thought about that. That's not normally a, a thought that I... Okay. Ghosts wear clothing because those clothes are a part of their identity. Ghosts don't exist. I mean, I guess for you, they, they do. I We haven't seen... Okay. Now that you mention it... That's why, despite your amnesia, I can tell the kind of person you are just by looking at the clothes you wear. What kind of person are we then? Really? Yuma's like, yo, fucking tell me, please. I don't know who the fuck I am. Your uniform is undoubtedly an official one supplied by the WDO. Oh, cool. And I found it fits you perfectly after measuring your size. I don't think it could possibly belong to someone else. 
Damn, is she destroying my theory about him not actually being a detective? What the fuck? What if it, it's a fake uniform, though, and it looks real, but it's not? That's my theory. Which means I really am a master detective? I don't believe it. Am I one or not? I can't figure it out without my memory coming back to me. That's all I have to say. I'm the medium detective, Melanie. Nice to meet you all. All right. Honestly, love her. Love her. Uh, I guess we can talk to this guy. This guy looks cool, honestly. I am Zange Eraser. I come from a detective agency on the front lines far from here. Okay. Zange Eraser. What are with their last names? Can someone explain this to me? What is the bit with this? I don't get it. Perhaps you expect an introduction, but I have <laughs> nothing to say. Respect. Let the past melt like ice in an evening stream. That's how I live my life. My forte is photography. I can transcribe images from my memory onto electronics. Photography? Photography. Your forte is photography. Okay. That's all for me. There's no need for any further explanations. Homie comes and goes, I I am a, my forte is photography and does not elaborate. There's clearly something extraordinary about him. I mean he's got a missing eye or something. Oh that that really wow. Honestly, respect. Uh oh, I guess we should probably talk to this guy, even though he hates us, but I'm Mayfex Logan. I'm from the detective branch in the eastern slums. Wait, I just realized we're getting non-Japanese names in this game. Let's go. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're kind of right, though. I will say, for as big of a dick as this guy was, his name at least doesn't sound as stupid as some of the other ones. Apex Logan kind of goes hard. Or did he say it was pronounced Apex? Is it Apex or Apex? I honestly forgot immediately how he pronounced it. There's not a button to go back in the log, is there? They call me a master detective now, but I'm originally a broke illegal immigrant. Damn, okay, wait. Uh, uh, can I, where, where are controls and options? Um, backlog is the minus button. Okay, cool. So. Okay, here's the backlog. So let's see how he pronounces his name. I'm Apex Logan. It was Apex. It was Apex. Um, doesn't the old man look like the oh, one of the old guys that run Hope Speak Academy? You mean like uh, Tangan? Because honestly, yeah, I could I could get some Tangan vibes. When I was a kid, I was in an upstanding home, living an upstanding life. They always are. My parents were lawyers who never tolerated injustice. Okay. They should have left well enough alone with that local mafioso. Because they went after him, they were murdered. Damn. Their necks were cut open. Jesus. Right in front of What me. the? That's really intense, actually. <laughs> what? The, why? Why? What? That's a, awful. What is the story with that? That's kind of a lot, my guy. I ran away to protect myself. And jumped on a ship at the port. Uh, honestly, I wasn't asking for your whole like backstory, but I guess I okay. I mean, fair enough, my dude. I didn't know where the ship was going. That was the moment I threw away my past and my home. Okay. I drifted to the slums and did everything I could to survive. I managed to survive until now, thanks to luck. Certified Nagito moment. Managed to survive until now. Thanks to luck. Oh, I'm so lucky. It's all luck and hope and fucking I'm not gonna anyway. With my natural talents, I was able to wow. become a detective. But I also wanted revenge. We have some interesting characters, huh? Yeah, yeah. I also I kind of also love Apex. He trauma dumping. He just like me for real, for real. I can't stand evil. 
But even if you ain't Tifa, I'll show no mercy to those who stand in my way. <laughs> when he's waiting too long at the fucking, like, Arby's, like, line to get the register, he's like, You're in my way! I need my fucking roast beef sandwich! And punches him right in the face. If I can't figure out the difference between the good guys and the baddies, then I just beat up both of them. I... Okay, have you considered not doing that, though? Kill or be killed is my motto. It's a stupid motto. Get a new motto. <laughs> he looks scary, but that's not all. I think there's a deep sadness within him. I mean, yeah, he seems... I mean, he fucking saw his parents murdered in front of him. He He's clearly very traumatized. I mean, I guess I can't... Well, I... The thing is, I can criticize him for his, his violent philosophy. However, I can also empathize and understand where he's coming from because clearly he's deeply, deeply fucked up and his, you know, needs therapy. Uh, so it's, it's, you know, I get it. I can't share details about my forte. Just know it's kind of like radar. Okay. That's all you're going to tell us? You got a problem with that, you tiny runt? Yes. Um, Apex is flowy for real, for real. <laughs> Too real. Okay, fair enough. Just gonna. <laughs> Not at all. You sure are a frail looking kid, aren't you? No, I'm making me want to replay Undertale today. Pale to boot. Like disaster's got its claws on you. You sure nothing weird is haunting you? No, honestly. There's been this really annoying ghost like character who won't shut the fuck up whenever like uh, tutorial instructions come on screen. I have no doubt that they are haunting us probably. No way. <laughs> the detective's got to be tough. How about a little training? I'll pass. First you'll need to get used to stab wounds. We'll start with an ice pick and scissors and a fruit knife. What? Wait, why start with the ice pick? I feel like scissors is, is better to start with, but okay. No thanks. Don't be shy, runt. I think Apex has some problems to work out. No, really, I'm fine. <laughs> Too bad. Not really. It's, it's not at all that bad, to be honest. I'm very good with... Wait... Okay, I was like, why is his speech bubble white when the others are black? But it's just because I was closer to him. Okay, let's uh, get the last two out of the way. I'll go first. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Zilch Alexander. I got confused for a second because I was like, what does he mean he'll go first? We've talked to like a bunch of other people before him, but I think he means he'll go first between the two of us. But haven't we already introduced ourselves to everyone? So... I don't even know. Anyway, he's Zilch Alexander, though. That kind of goes hard. I'm from the Southern Forest Preserve District's detective agency. They call me Nature's Mediator. Okay. Solves fucking plant crimes. Zilch Alexander, plant detective. I did not expect to like Apex, but yeah, I like him. I mean, honestly, I don't hate him. I, I, I mean, he's kind of, he's got problems to work out, but I, I, he's interesting at the very least. I love people, nature, and the harmony between them. Cool. However, there are times when some would attempt to ruin that harmony. My specialty is in handling those people. Okay. Have you heard of the chain of mysterious murders surrounding the dam construction at Souls Lake? Bro, we have amnesia. Why would we, we have? That's literally the, o with the only thing you know about us uh, that we have. Rumor has it that one by one, everyone involved with the dam's construction died. Reminds me of Higurashi. By a sunken ritual site. It was a once in a century difficult case. Okay. The one who solved it was none other than myself. Crazy. There wasn't much to it. The culprits were locals who wanted the rights to the dam for themselves. 
Yeah, there really was not much. So, why are you bragging about it if you, by your own admission, admit that it was a really easy case to, like, the obvious culprits were obvious? The strange part is that all 52 villagers were in on it. They all kept their lips sewn shut to protect the secret. See, now that reminds me of, uh, what, what is it called? Raging Loop a little bit. Uh, I guess it wasn't quite the same. It just that, that whole village was in on a lot of different shit. Uh, no, I guess it's not quite the same. I, isn't there some? Maybe I'm thinking of some other story. Isn't there some story where like a full village of people is like all in on one? An anime story, I guess. Supposedly, if we're talking about fiction entirely, M Night Shyamalan's The Village might sort of constitute some of that. But anyway, um. Chang is the English dub of, wait, what? Chang is the English dub voice of Zilch Alexander in Raincode? Chang? Is, is it like something Chang or just Chang? Who, who else are they? Who, give me more detail, J-Series. I'll let you figure out what that means. Low key, I'm kind of hot, guys, so I'm just gonna take off my outer shirt, so. When harmony between man and nature is disrupted, disaster strikes. That is one thing I have learned as a detective. Okay. Nature's mediator. He does look like a good detective. Though he suspected he? me, he still gave me a fair chance to explain myself. Sure. He looks a bit intense, but maybe he's a good person. Emphasis on maybe. I'll describe my forte as well. I'm uncomfortable exposing classified information regarding investigators, but this is an emergency. Okay. My forte is animal investigation. I thought he was into plants, so animals kind of a downgrade, but uh, you know, my poor virgin eyes. <laughs> All right, let me start stripping more and more. For every time a piece of dialogue in this game makes me cringe, I'll take off an article of clothing. The good thing is that all from the top down, you cannot see me. So I, I have a lot of, I have like two socks, pants, underwear uh, to take off before I have to do anything else. So, I mean, I'm winning with that, with that proposition. I can control animals as I wish and recruit them from my inquiries. Quite fitting for the philanthropist. So he's basically Ace Ventura. Though useful in many ways, I mainly use it to gather intel. It allows me to survey a target while remaining undetected. Clarification, Ace Ventura minus the transphobia. Hopefully. As a basic rule, I can only control four-legged mammals. Less intelligent animals are easier to control. Uh, what mammals have more than four legs? What? Wait, guys, 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 I need, I need clarification. Are there mammals with more than four legs? Isn't that like m most, most mammals? I often use mice. They're the perfect animals for undercover investigations. Cringe. Unfortunately, I can't show it off right now because there aren't any mice on this train. Wow, so you're fucking worthless. <laughs> Not only is he a good detective, but he also has those powers. I mean, meh. he really is impressive. That is all from me. With love, I yield to the next person. Good, because I don't care about you. So, like, yeah. Anyway, uh, okay, last girl. I'm interested in hearing her bit. An introduction. You cringed minus one? Fuck. All right, fine. You... <laughs> Casually break switch. Um, all right, one sock is off, all right? You keep track, I'll do it. I'll, I'll hold up my end of the bargain. No cap. Introduce myself. A subjective observation of one's own self-image explained objectively. What? What the fuck are you... Jesse, what the fuck are you talking about? What?
Okay, an introduction, introduce myself, a subjective observation of one's own self-image explained objectively. Ugh. You're gonna get on my nerves, aren't you? Uh, are you okay? No, she... I'm not gonna say that, never mind. Did I do something that caused you concern? Yeah, you are weird, and that's concern. Uh, no, it's just you seem to be having difficulty introducing yourself. I rarely have a need to do so, so I was considering what approach to take. Well, you took the wrong one, so you kind of need to get your shit together. After all, is there such a thing as a self in the first place? Okay, I, 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 I don't get me wrong. Existentialism, I, I, okay, wait, why is my, I was trying to reset something on my switch, but it's not doing it. Okay, there we go. Is it gonna... There, okay, cool. Fixed what I was trying to fix. Anyway, um, so maybe like wait on the existentialism. Or do it now, actually. You know, honestly, Kokichi kind of spit. I like her, she's pretty interesting. I don't hate her. She is being a little bit, a little bit pretentious, but in my defense, I love pretentious. So it kind of, it evens out a little bit. All I am is a bundle of nervous tissue reacting to external stimuli. If I had to, I guess I'd call myself Pucci Lavman. I, I guess? What do you mean I, I guess I'd call him? Is that your name? Or are you just calling yourself random words? I guess I'd, okay. Pucci Lavman. Goes fucking hard. That's a great name. That is a, that is a great fucking name. For the record. Pucci Lavman. I'm here for it. So your name is Pucci then? Names are meaningless. A method of arbitrary labeling for self-recognition. Symbols for categorization. Nothing more. I wouldn't say meaningless. I mean, it's how we can recognize other people. It is sort of a symbol for categorization, but more so convenience and to address others and like you know i mean meaningless is maybe a bit excessive to that end because they have meaning the same but... purpose as a detective deed or so i Pucci, believe okay she seems a bit odd most of the world detective organization's work is investigating unsolved mysteries i was trusted with many bureaucratic investigations my clients are mainly enterprises and politicians. Depending on the client, I use my forte to see if the transaction party is trustworthy. Okay, wait, so... I... I use my forte to see if they're trustworthy. My forte is yeah. known as audio aptitude. What? When I concentrate, I can hear anything from distant whispers, footsteps, and even heartbeats. Okay, you, you fucking dog. You fucking daredevil. You fucking another example of something. Okay, guys, 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 guys. I'm out of, I'm out of drink. I need, I have no more in my bottle. I'm gonna go grab another real fast. Um, I'm also gonna fill more water up because I need hydration as well. I'm not gonna go to the right back screen because I'll be just, I'm just gonna run to the other room. So just, I'm gonna leave this screen on. For, enjoy the music that is on screen right now. I'll be back in, in just uh, a couple seconds, all right?
Where's my headphones? Um, Caleb, don't get drunk. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But, I mean, at this point, we're into, it's like sunk cost fallacy, right? I mean, I've already had a full bottle of wine and two bottles of Mike's. So what's the third bottle of Mike's at this point? I mean, it's not going to make much of a difference, right? I don't think so. Um, I, now, now, it's not to say I'll necessarily follow Savannah's advice either, because I'm not really trying to like, get, get drunk. I'm just trying to drink. The end goal, its own thing. But uh, anyway, in the meantime, uh, let us uh, continue onward. No one is safe to speak of their secrets when I, Poochie, am around. Oh, then did you hear anything suspicious at the station? Maybe we can figure out what happened to me. Unfortunately, unless I focus my efforts on listening, I'm unable to hear things far away. Oh, I see. Constantly listening in on all sounds leads to a sensation of my physical boundaries within reality dissolving away. My already tenuous sense of self starts to vanish. Which is why I tend to close my ears unless I'm using my powers. I, okay. So I want you to remember shit. I will remember. I, I'm not, I, I won't get, I'm not going to get like fucked up. All right. I'm, I remember fine enough, except for whatever was just spoken. Uh, constantly listening in on all sounds leads to a sensation of my physical boundaries within reality dissolving away. The f okay so she closes her ears like that's how ears work for sure being blessed with power sure comes at a price did she always act in such a strange way or did it develop after she obtained her forte regardless she definitely has a distinct air about her that is all i have to say about myself okay yeah, definitely am a big fan oh. of the clothes girl. Uh, her name was... Is she still in the log so I can remember her name? Okay, that's way too much I have to, I'd have to go through. Is she in profiles? No. Yes, Melamy. That's her name. Melamy Goldmine. She likes beautiful heartwarming clothes and she dislikes ugly non-heartwarming clothes. <laughs> based um okay zangi zang eraser he likes whiskey he dislikes modern cell phones fair enough um nilch likes animals dislikes the destruction of nature for sure and then apex likes basketball and dislikes rogues with no sense of, of justice okay and then i guess we'll we'll check um her what's your name poochie that's right her name's poochie we'll check poochie's uh profile right after uh dialogue ends with her <laughs> this part of her seems a bit more cute normal. honestly cute look at gold mine's height oh shit did i yeah because you guys were saying i mean sh you were saying she was uh pretty tall right I mean, she looked pretty tall. I don't... Uh, let's see how tall she actually is, though. I think... Yeah, let's see. Height. I'm, I'm gonna... I hate to break it to you, J-Series. I, I don't know centimeters. <laughs> Somebody translate for me. What is 185 centimeters in American height for himbo American brain? Because uh, I don't know how that converts. What is that in feet and inches? Okay, cool. So that, that's all of the introductions. Um, now... Oh, I have to speak to you again. I hear a heart beating what? faster Wait, than usual. What? Is it my own? Oh, I accidentally clicked on her again, I see. Lastly... It's your turn, Yuma. 
Aside from having amnesia, is there anything else we should know about? We have amnesia. What the fuck else do you want us to... I really like long walks on the beach. I still can't remember anything. 6.06955? Uh, tall. Wait, so that is, does that mean six foot, like six foot and a half is, is what you're saying? Or is that, is that what, I think that's what that means, right? Very tall, yeah. I respect it. If you really are a master detective, then you should have some sort of forte. Your forte is being dumb. I have no idea. Oh. Young man, are you sure you don't remember? How about the kind of clothes you usually wear? Uh, or brands you like? Every time she calls me young man, my heart flutters. I mean, she calls Yuma that, but I'm... Yuma's the, our self-insert character for the time being, so uh, we're, we're filling in as Yuma. Uh, either way, I am down bad for Melanie. You Straight up. Inquired about clothing. Maybe you'll remember after a few punches to the head. No, I... Why would that help us remember? Apex, stop that. If you knock him out, he won't be able to speak. The perplexing circumstance we face may have something to do okay. with his memory. Wh what is the perplexing circumstance? Can you elaborate now? That's right. I was wondering about that. Yeah. What do you mean by perplexing circumstance? And why do you keep phrasing it with those two specific words? You, you're like very, it's almost like you, it's like printed in yellow because that's like the official way that the game wants us to refer to it right now. Did something happen? Has the murder already happened? Well, We're only in the second car of five, so. Something unexpected has I think maybe a murder's actually. already happened then. The number of people is off. Oh. Wait, as in too many? Or, oh, because the way he was talking about perplexing circumstance, it sounded like it was perplexing before we got involved, right? So, I don't even know. Um, Melanie can step on me and I'd thank her. Exactly, exactly. Simps, well, yes, but step on me. I mean, but, yes, you're right. I mean, but, no comment. Anyway. The number of people? I, Gucci, heard from the World Detective Organization that the number of master detectives on the train was... Precisely five. Now, now I'm, I'm no, no mathematician, but it seems as though there are six of us. So, that's, that's a little... So we're looking kind of sus at this point. It's kind of what I'm... That's what I'm gathering here. I want... Okay, Poochie, for the record, since we're here, I want to look at her thing. Um, she likes classical music and dislikes loud people. I mean, yeah, it's because she has daredevil ears. So, I mean, fair. <laughs> Five? One... You, oh, he's just gonna manually. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six. There's six of us. I really don't believe Yuma is a master detective. <laughs> Shit, like, he's like, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, guys, there's six of my master deduction skills told me that there's more than five people in this room. Crazy. I also heard from the WDO that five master detectives will gather on board. Well, we would tell you what we heard from the WDO, but um, we don't have memory, so that we can't. Hence why when you called yourself a master detective, I was honestly surprised. Honestly? Honestly? Melamy is sus to me. Out of everyone here, if we're supposed to, like, suss on someone, then don't get me wrong. Melamy is my favorite out of all of them. Uh, if anything happened to Melamy, I would kill everyone in that room and then myself, right? 
But the thing is, she only said this thing about, oh yeah, I was told there was five people after, after, who was it? Um... Poochie, it was Poochie. After Poochie said there was five people, that's when Melamy's like, oh, I also heard that. Sus. I'm just saying, if I were the culprit, that that's exactly what I would want. Because then it like gives you more credibility because you're like, oh, I heard this thing. That there's five of us. Clearly, I had reliable information, right? So I would say Melamy for following up immediately is sus to me. That might be baseless speculation, but I, I wanted to note it on the record regardless. Uh, yeah, look, Yuma has stars in his eyes. Uh, Yuma wants to be important so bad. Yeah, Yuma is fucking desperate to, to be relevant in the slightest. I knew this job wouldn't be easy, but there's already a mystery before us. Yeah, we're detectives. That's our job, my dude. <laughs> this is getting exciting. I mean, sure. It's obvious what's going on. There's an imposter among us. Don't make an Among Us joke. Don't make an Among Us joke. Don't make an Among Us joke. Okay. Okay. Among Us. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Um, anyway. It's not me. Okay, so Yuma has stars in his eyes. Let me take a good look. That is not a star. I think you were lying. Or does he only sometimes have a star? Right now, those are not stars. I don't think that is a star. I think? You might say this is sus. <laughs> Blasting fire also rolled in with the sus. <laughs> oh, we'd love to see it. How about we contact the WDO and find out? It could be a mistake. Uh, n no service, maybe? It's no use. I can't reach them. There's no signal here. Again, if Melamie were the culprit, would she not try to... Like, she would know that there's no service, probably. And that's why she would be the one to suggest calling them, right? My my gut's Mel Melamie. <laughs> Who could the uninvited sixth guest be? Fucking... There was a bug on my goddamn light. Anyway, sorry. It's obvious. I'm the most suspicious. Especially yeah. with my amnesia in this situation. Could I be the imposter? And I just can't remember? I am the sixth one here. Alright, I got it. The fact that you said don't make a joke while there's among us in the background is a joke in and of itself. Yep, yep, you're you're not you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Hey, since you're all clueless, I'm gonna tell you my extra sharp deduction. Wow, let me guess. You're gonna say it's somehow us. It's somehow us. You may speak. I'll allow it. Okay. Why would I need your permission? Yeah, what the fuck? Whatever. Way I see it, the runt here ain't the imposter. Let's go. Huh? It'd be boring if the most suspicious one is the culprit. True, true. He ain't wrong. The run must have been attacked by the real culprit. The memory loss is a side effect of the attack. That's not impossible. And the imposter's motive? Why would they attack Yuma? Because we're a little bitch ass bitch and you probably wanted to kick our shit in because we look like a twerp? to pretend to be a master detective and replace the runt on the train. The plan was going smoothly. The runt suddenly woke up. He got on the train right before it departed. And the results stand before us. Actually? You know, that's... That's actually a... A really good... Yo, Apex kind of... Is a is actually worthy of the fucking master detective title because that's actually like pretty much yeah no, I mean I forgot about that because we didn't wake up on the train we woke up fucking in a random station, so of all the ways that we could have been fucking mugged, 
and and someone to try to take our place, right? I mean, like, absolutely, it would be fucking. Yeah, no, I mean that actually seems totally legit, to be honest. So, yeah, okay, uh, interesting. Now, guys, I know I just left to go get uh, my water and my new drink, but I actually. I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so I'll be back in, in just a, a moment uh, to quickly run to the bathroom. And uh, I will, uh, I'll, yeah, I'll, be, I'll just listen to this music in the meantime. I apologize for two breaks concurrent in a row. I, I should have just done it in one, but I, I want to pee now so that I'm not holding in pee while we read through this very viscerally enjoyable um, uh, dialogue and content and plot. I'll be back. Sitting, I'm, I'm, I'm right, I'm right here, guys. And I'm sitting, I'm sitting down, ground, living life. Is a pound, other rhymes, 
dimes and nickels. So those things. Um, I keep losing my headphones every time I sit down, and it kind of makes me sad. Not kind of, it makes me really sad. I found, um, okay, cool. What was that entrance? Um, well, the thing is, they, they always say it's important to make an entrance and I take that to heart. The issue is I, I don't know what they meant by make an entrance. So I just kind of like improvise something on the fly. Um, and it turned out, uh, like making me look like a fucking moron so that was that um we'll do better next time anyway um by the way caleb there's time events quick time events you mean because that sounds awesome actually uh okay uh when i say awesome though I don't think the sarcasm conveyed in my voice. I said it kind of genuinely for a second. So let me retake that line. That sounds awesome. So yeah. Anyway, let's continue. Um, Obviously the imposter miscalculated. The rent's gotta be tougher than he looks. I mean, I, I wouldn't say that. I think we're just stupid. Oh, that's a surprisingly proper deduction. And I thought you'd be the most useless one here. Once again, if I were the culprit, I would absolutely jump on and be like, you know, you are absolutely right. That's so smart. That's that is totally correct. I can't believe you were so. That's a great uh, it's the deduction. Um, that that I Melanie is is hitting my sus alarms. That's all I'm saying. Um, which again, I feel bad because I love her, but I think it's also Danganronpa's conditioned me to never trust anyone I love. Um, which maybe speaks to something greater wrong with my psychology and in my life, but, uh, that is what it is. So I had to rewind and look at that entrance again. <laughs> it's better the second time. Probably. I mean, I've only, I lived it the one time. I've not even watched it once, so I, I can't say for sure, but I, I can imagine it would be better the second time. Uh, on a scale from 1 to 10, how buzzed are you? Honestly, not like... Like, maybe 5? I don't feel like like drunk drunk. Try the breathalyzer. <laughs> we do we do actually have a breathalyzer. That's true. I don't know where... I, do you want me to try the breath... The thing is, our breathalyzer is cheap. I bought... I spent $11 on it. Actually, I didn't spend $11 on it. That's a lie. But it was only $11. Um, and it doesn't really work that well. I can I can try the breathalyzer. I'll see what it says. I don't think I'm that drunk. I don't feel that drunk. But maybe I'm lying to myself, as I usually do. I'll go, I'll, I'll go look. I'll, I'll find the breathalyzer. Give me one second. Gee, it's so good to see you. Uh, so update, update. I don't know where the where the breathalyzer is, so I'll buy you a better one. <laughs> Fucking do it, honestly. I need a better one. Get me a high grade, high high class fucking uh, breathalyzer. Absolutely. 
<laughs> just fucking premium grade. Give me police grade breathalyzer, please. I need it. I need it badly. Um, yeah, not if you have to search for it. It's fine. Oh, look at this dude. Limfow, one guide. He's gone. <laughs> Buy it right now. Uh, I don't even. It, I don't even know what happened to my breathalyzer. So I mean, the, but to be fair, not not even if I did find it, it's such a piece of shit that like it gives you a different reading like every other time you do it. And also, I don't believe any of its readings because it's so cheap that it just doesn't seem uh, real. Omega lol a cab. <laughs> The thing is, if we buy out all the police grade breathalyzers, then the police don't have any to use on um, people they discriminate against when they pull over and force them to take breathalyzer tests. I couldn't really turn that into a good a cab point. I apologize. I'm uh, a terrible. Uh, owl. I. I just am gonna continue playing because my brain doesn't want to. Think. So, yeah. Five head. Why, thank you. Okay. In other words, I was knocked out at the station because someone attacked me? But I don't think I've been injured. That's actually a good point. If we don't seem to have any big injury. Yeah, no, honestly. I think that's a very astute point. I actually don't think we were knocked out with, with that in mind. I think it's probably a more supernatural answer than that. Um, I don't know. Excuse me. My deduction is slightly different. All right, Poochie, what you got to say? Let's hear it. I'll allow it. Who? Why? You? I, I, what? Okay. Decided I better get drunk with Caleb. Honestly, true. Everyone at home, drink if you can. We're getting, it's a, it's a mutual drunken, we're all drunk together. Because again, as we've established at the beginning of the stream, I am a, a, a huge proponent for parasocial relationships. So, you know, get parasocial. Drink with me, please. Clink. Uh, playing a mystery puzzle game while buzzed sounds like an awful idea. I think it sounds like a great idea, all things considered. I'm at my most uh, cognitive when I'm when I'm buzzed. The thing is, though, I'm for the record, I'm not I'm not taking like vodka shots or like getting actually fucked up that much, right? I'm just drinking like some some mics, which I mean to be fair, this is my third mics, and I had an entire bottle of wine before that, so I don't know what point I'm making. Anyway, let's continue. Stop acting like we need to get your permission. I suspect that the entire situation is a test designed by the World Detective that's Organization. That's also a really good idea, but the fact that she's saying it now means that's not true. A test? That seems like what you would write a character to say when it's not true. A WDO exam officer has disguised themselves as a member and is ascertaining our skills here. Not gonna lie, I kind of wanna. I know we had that. We we just came up with that whole rule uh, about like every time I cringe, I like strip off a piece of clothing, and I really would like to cringe because I have one sock off and one sock on, and the one sock that is on is super uncomfy. It it's claustrophobic. So if someone can put something in chat that makes me cringe. Uh, I'll count that towards the game and I'll, I'll strip off the sock uh, so that I don't have uh, so I, it's removed another piece of clothing because I really don't like the feeling of uh, that sock right now. So I'd really like to cringe so I could strip it and remove it uh, because I am I'm serious. I'm sticking to that that, that thing. So uh, did you cringe? I haven't cringed yet, but if you can make me, then please help me. Um, only alcohol I drink is hard cider and I'm all out. Ah, oh, tragedy, tragedy. You know, here's the thing. I don't know why I said here's the thing. That's not the phrase I wanted to use. I was going to say, hard cider goes, ironically, hard. <laughs> I love hard cider, actually. I'm a, I'm a hard cider enthusiast. I know some people aren't uh, big apple people, but uh, for me, as an apple enthusiast, uh, hard cider, I think, is fucking amazing. 
Um, it is, it's like drinking beer if beer was good. So, yeah. Um, also, sorry if I came off as rude. I was trying to make a joke. No, no, no. It did not come off as rude as, at all. Do not worry. I always appreciate you being uh, uh, concerned about stuff like that, but y you never have to worry about that. I, you're never rude. So, don't worry at all. I love you. Um, the, what, what, the champ? The champion you will get will be a babe. What? What? Honestly, me. I am not Big Apple people. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. If that were the case, Yuma here could possibly be the exam officer. Me? An exam officer? <laughs> Fuck Big Apple. They're trying to control us. <laughs> Bring it on. Okay, seriously, guys, please make me cringe, though. I actually really want to take this sock off, but because I want to adhere to the rules of our stupid fucking strip game, I'm, I'm not going to yet until I cringe. So please, please let me cringe. I, I need to... You have to actually make me cringe. This is a new try to cringe challenge. It's not even try not to cringe. It's try to cringe. I would love to cringe right now. Is that the best cringing you could come up with, brother? I did... Oh, you're talking about your J series. Oh, the champion you get. Will be, I was just confused at that. I wasn't even cringed by that, but that... Okay. I don't care if it's the WDO or a hitman. If you want to test me... I'll show you what I got. Okay. What are you trying to do? Yeah, what what is For now. I'll check to see if there are other uninvited guests. I could send you TikToks. Accomplices lurking about. Watch the anime girl shit herself. <laughs> Iconic lore for for the record. If y'all don't remember the Euphoria video on my channel that is now taken down and y'all are missing out. That was honestly and I mean this sincerely. For the record, I genuinely think my Euphoria video is one of my favorite videos I ever made. Like, genuinely. I, I mean it. And I, it's so funny because I, I think I'm the only person who thinks that. Um, <laughs> and even YouTube didn't think it because they took it down. Uh, after it was up for like a year and then they took it down uh, for being um, censored porn. Which, I mean, it kind of was, so fair enough. Um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, Savannah, you could send me TikToks, but uh, I don't think I can interrupt gameplay with TikToks. You just kind of have to send stuff in chat, you know, I, or, or something. I, I can't imagine. You mean you liked watching her shit herself? What? No, no, I liked watching myself react to watching her shit herself. I, in the mo- okay, for the record. My euphoria experience. Let me break this down for a second. I apologize for disrupting the game, but this is very crucial. I didn't like watching her shit herself. I hated it, truly, in the moment. For the record, the girl shitting herself was like the fucking... That was nothing compared to everything else. The fucking tubes in their assholes that connected to the other person's mouth and then they shit into the other person's mouth and then vomited that back into the other person's asshole. That was fucked up. That was actually fucked up. The girl shitting herself... That was, that was easy shit. Either way, though, Euphoria made me want to die immensely. That, that five-hour period of time was probably, like, I went through the five stages of, like, every emotion one could possibly experience. I will never fucking experience anything like Euphoria, and it made me, it was, I was miserable through most, most of it, and, and almost throwing up for most of it. Genuinely, I almost vomited several times playing Euphoria. However, the reaction after the fact like i waited a few days before editing it because i couldn't even bear to think about it after that but like you know watching the actual video fully edited watching my reaction watching me go through such intense emotions and like almost vomit stuff it was good content that's all i'm saying i would lo i love watching my reaction i'm fucking narcissistic as hell i love watching myself there's nothing i like watching more uh and i i thought that was that's why i thought it was a good video so it wasn't about yeah for the record, I want I I because I only played through one route of Euphoria. I I have a goal, guys. My goal is at some point, maybe by the end of the year, maybe that's too big of a goal. Maybe I should maybe it'll be longer than that. But I want to someday finish Euphoria. Put every other route. I want to finish all 100 percent complete Euphoria. And then play the spiritual successor 
maggot baits, which is where there's like a bunch of maggots and stuff. I don't know anything else about maggot baits. I've just heard it's like euphoria, but way worse. So I, I want to do that because I think that'll be even better content uh, because it sounds even worse. And I haven't been truly traumatized in a good while. And I don't think I have enough trauma in my life yet. Uh, ignore all the trauma dumping at the beginning of the stream tonight because that that is irrelevant because uh, it's not any trauma near what euphoria and maggot baits uh, could slash would give me uh, and have given me uh, in euphoria's case so that is my thesis statement on euphoria just so we know uh, Caleb you're making me cringe good Caleb can you stop yourself this is just sounding bad a goal I it's for it's for content it's for content. It's it's all okay if it's for content. And how are you going to do that? Not elaborate. Like this. Oh. What? Let's go. What? What what is this? What's happening? What? What was that? A weird feeling overcame my whole body. I'm not sure we believe you. It's for content based on the last 4 minutes of talking. <laughs> it's for, I It's for content. It's for content. I for the I was mi I almost threw up playing Euphoria. It's not like I'm doing I the thing I like torturing myself for con I think it's it's all worth it for the bit. No That's my philosophy. That's my fucking fucking okay. <laughs> Turns out there really are just six of us on this train right now. Yeah. Um what did you do? I used my forte, life detection. Oh. Actually pretty useful for for a uh, kind of mystery train where we're all or sorry mystery murder mystery where we're all on a train however there's been no murder yet uh unless we haven't come across a body in which case maybe there has been but uh this is interesting anyway i can detect life in a 50 meter radius and pinpoint its location caleb stop while you're ahead please no I, i'll do so i'm stopping now playing the game firmly the mechanism is a trade secret I can say without a doubt that we're the only ones on this train. You're digging yourself into a bigger pit, Caleb. I, I, for, it's for, con it's for content. I, it's for, I, I got pizza rolls drinking one for you, Angel. Damn, taking one for the team. Respect, honestly, respect. Pizza rolls on bomb right now. I'm not hungry at all, but if I were hungry, pizza rolls would be bomb. Talk all you want. But who can verify that you're not lying? Actually, that's a really valid point. He could for sure be lying, right? I didn't even think about that. Yeah, no, he could absolutely be just. We're never gonna get anywhere if you start doubting everything. But Use your own damn powers to figure it out then. I, the thing is, I don't believe Apex would be the the imposter just because he's so outwardly aggressive that I feel like it'd be counterintuitive to what an imposter detective would be wanting. So I don't think it's Apex. However, I do think it's a very interesting note that yeah, he absolutely could be be faking things. If anything, though, if you know, my second highest uh, suspicion would actually be Zilch, just because Zilch is the one taking control, and I think. If you are the imposter or culprit or whoever, is it not a big brain move to then kind of be the one leading the group and taking control of the group? Food for thought. I see. So Forte's come in handy at a time like this. Yuma, I hate you. In that case, there's someone else with the power that can confirm if other passengers are on board. Who whose power? I don't recall. Wait, shit. 
Oh, I guess it's her. It, it, it at least tells me. I guess it's oh, because she has audio, huh? So she can hear throughout the whole train to see if anything else is happening, huh? Um, Fuchi, would it be possible for you to verify what Aphex said is true? Yes. I, Fuchi, was contemplating it at the moment. Even if someone is hiding, my audio aptitude is able to detect their breathing and heartbeats. Shall I try? Yes, please. <laughs> Why does this child have a hook on his head? Is it for hanging him in a closet? <laughs> the visual image of putting him on like a, a fucking clothes right <laughs> That's priceless. Oh my god. Uh, honestly, I could see it. I, you know, may, I may have, I, I think it's supposed to be like a question mark because I guess. Uh, okay. This is enough cringe for me just thinking about this. It's because his life is a mystery. It's because he doesn't know who he is. So he's a mystery. Question mark. Right? Get it? Okay, I that was enough of a cringe for me to justify taking off another sock because I really, really want the sock off. All right, another sock off. Strip cringe game continues. Hey, what's with the gloomy little girl? Don't tell me she's motion sick. She's using her audio aptitude to check if there are other passengers. Oh, really? Well, that's great. Go for it. It'll prove I'm right. Okay, this will be really interesting if they have different answers, though. Shut. Huh? Shut up, you brain dead idiots! Cheater? What? Because you don't think it was a good enough cringe? I mean, okay, here's the Pardon thing. Would oh. you mind quieting nope. down nope. for a bit? I didn't. I need to concentrate. I don't mean to. Okay, I guess it's going. Wait, give me a second. I'll finish my thought in two seconds. Oh, it's a full mm -hmm. cutscene. Okay. Okay, so what this happened? Sensation. I felt it when Aphex used his powers. Okay, anyway, sorry. Let me uh, finish my thought from before. See, uh, okay, yeah, I may, maybe it was like I was stretching the definition of cringe, but the whole point of the stripping cringe game is to punish me for cringing, right? So, I mean, can you really complain? I mean, I'm stripping, so it's like I'm... If I'm if I'm being too liberal with I'm with the amount of times I'm stripping, I mean really that y'all shouldn't be complaining about that. That's kind of like the, the. Does no one else hear it? <laughs> What's going on? Free the dogs for the wiki feet score. See, that's the other trick of it, and that's that's why I was so willing to to do this game in the first place is because most of my body is not on camera, so my feet, y'all don't need to see them. The dogs ain't out. They're hidden. They they're the grippers are hidden. Pants, when those come off, if they come off, they're hidden. So, for the record, yes. Anyway. I finished. I cannot hear the heartbeats of anyone besides the six of us here. Okay, so they, they do both agree there's no one else besides the six of us on the train. Okay. Though one could hold their breath, they still cannot stop their heart from beating. <laughs> Hashtag free the dogs. <laughs> okay, Loki, I'm... I feel bad because, sorry, I feel bad because I feel like because I have been breaking from the game and talking so much, I think it's taking way longer. I know someone originally said four hours to get through chapter zero. Low key, I mean, we're going to keep playing for a little while still, but if it's like still like not that far into this chapter, we might save some for next stream. <laughs> I feel kind of bad. But also, I, I mean, we have been going for like, what, four hours or something, right? So, uh... In other words, there's no one else on this train. I, Pucci, guarantee it. See? I told you so. Sorry for calling you gloomy, little girl. 
girl. Though to be fair, to be fair, I I think this this puts sus off of Apex for sure. But Poochie, if she was the the imposter, she absolutely could have just agreed with him, and like that puts sus off of her. And you know, I I think that's that's noted to note. But you know, I'm glad you've confirmed my findings, but. I can hear heartbeats from 500 meters away. Aren't our powers kind of the same? I mean, not really. She, the one's about audio, one's about just like sensing life. Um, it came out, how is it? We are so early on that I truly cannot say. <laughs> Yuma is an idiot. The protagonist is fucking stupid. That's the only, oh, also, wait, let me, let me, here, let me give you a visual. Uh, missing legs. I want to show you so you know. Oop, that's the wrong one. Oh, there's a new profile update. Interesting. Um, oh, those two have updates. I don't really care about them. Anyway, the other thing I was going to say. Melamie Goldmine. Melamie Goldmine. Is hot. And I want her to step on me. That's the only crucial information I have thus far. The only critiques I have of the game. Uh, that's us. Just Yuma's dumb and, and Melamie is, is hot. That's that's it, mostly. So, um, should I play it on my own or watch it with you? Yes. You should. Yes. We're very early on. Although, I don't know how long we'll be going tonight. I was just talking about that. I don't know how long we'll actually be going on uh, tonight. But, um... You know, it's, I don't know. I, I still have not determined. I mean, it's so early on. I can't really determine how I feel about it. It's interesting. So you're the useless one. Quiet, you canny bitch. <laughs> Moving on. We've now got proof from two master detectives. We can say for sure that there are no other passengers. I'll play it on my own and be done the day after tomorrow. Bet. And then you'll be, you'll have all the no for seeing as I go through it. Yeah, I think that's the move, honestly. Because I, uh, it's gonna, knowing my track record, I'll take about nine months to get through. Realistically, it should be like seven, six or seven streams to get through. But I've notoriously been bad about actually getting through the game, so. Though one may be a lying imposter, the other's statement can still be trusted. One of them, an imposter? But Aphex and Poochie both use their fortes. I could feel them using their powers, so I think it's safe to say both are master detectives. But I'm the only one who can sense their powers, and no one else seems to have the same experience. Wait, what? could feel them using their powers okay puts more sus on on mirami for sure for sure interesting though to be fair you've also been bad about stream Oh, psychic damage, psychic damage. You, so you're streaming on Wednesdays at like very late, yes? I am tonight. I think I might actually be, I've been streaming Tuesdays, but I think genuinely Wednesdays is the new streaming day. I, I Is this an official announcement? Sure. Uh, unless I change my mind. <laughs> unless I change my mind. Uh, Wednesdays is the new streaming day, I think. Um, uh, in an ideal world, I wouldn't be streaming as late as I have been for my last many streams. But, who knows? In an ideal world, I'd like to be streaming a, l a few hours earlier than I am currently. But, uh, I, recently I've been streaming very late. So, that's, you know, it. I guess it depends. 
Uh, yeah, and it is. It, you're right. It's only on Switch. It's pain. I'm having to do a lot of shit to fucking play it off my Switch, which is pain. Uh, th there are ways to emulate it though on PC, and I am considering maybe for for future streams just switching to an emulated version because it is honestly a hassle to have to try to capture it from the Switch and then put it on the screen. There's a lot of technical bullshit with that, so <laughs> that's been a problem. But uh yeah yeah actually also speaking about stream stuff uh I'll, I'll talk about this more when i end stream later but uh i may not actually be streaming next week uh, and i feel bad because i've been missing for a couple weeks uh but i'm actually going to be uh, on a vacation next week so i i'm still debating there's a chance i might do it like some sort of irl stream uh just like using a camera and walking around um in a different uh part of the country uh, and just doing a fun little short irl stream that's what I will do if I am streaming. Otherwise, I will miss next week. I will update you guys as it goes, and I'll, I'll talk more about it at the end of the stream. But I might as well mention that now since we're talking about streaming days. Anyway. Why am I the only one? <laughs> What's wrong with you, old man? You gone senile or something? Can you all hear that? The sounds of a running train, the wheels of fate chugging along. Okay. In the same way, our fate continues to turn. This train will press on until we reach our destination. No one can get off midway, including the uninvited sixth. Okay. Let's discover which of us is the caged bird in here. <laughs> My fading detective spirit is revitalized once again thanks to this burning mystery. Not bad. Things are getting interesting. That's a good sprite. I, I really like his sprite here. You're joking. What could the imposter even accomplish? We're all master detectives here. See, my only question is, is someone going to die after this? Or is someone already dead? And yet, we don't know who the fake one is. It's you, Melamy. It's you. I've used my power, so obviously I'm the real deal. The gloomy girl detective also passes. True. She ain't no fake. I mean, literally, yes. So, how about the guy blowing smoke, huh? Why don't you go ahead and prove yourself with your forte? How about it, you four-eyed fox detective? As I have already explained, my power involves animals. Without them, I can't use it. Yeah, see, sus, sus. So, you're fine being considered a suspect then? You are free to think what you wish. Unfortunately, I can't prove myself either. Without a dead body, I can't use my powers as a medium. Well, let's find out. <laughs> now we've got two suspects. How about you, old man? I don't mind showing off, but it won't clear any suspicions. The sixth uninvited guest could possibly be a traitorous master detective with their own forte. That's also a fair point. I think that is actually a pretty decent possibility that the other master, like, or that the other impo that the imposter is also like, yeah, maybe either a master detective or not even necessarily a master detective, but just someone with their own sort of forte thing. That's true. No end to this! To hell with it! Everybody line up! I'll deck you one by one! Whoever passes out is safe, got it? What? The real deal! If you don't pass out in one hit, then you gotta be the imposter! That's... I think that's maybe not a... good... okay. Uh, Kodaka said this is a mystery game, uh, not completely a murder mystery game. Okay, I mean, fair, but also, is this, I mean, the, okay, I think that makes sense, but also, th this chapter is quite literally called fucking, what is it called? Massacre on the Amaterasu Express, which I feel like implies death, but I mean, I don't know. Calm down. Let's do things logically, like the detectives we are. Pardon me. I suggest we investigate this, starting with the motive for the imposter's infiltration. Hmm, the motive. 
One possibility is that it's a test from the World Detective Organization. Are there any others? What is the premise here? Uh, I mean, thus far, I guess, so we're following this character, Yuma. He woke up and he was like, oh, I have amnesia. And then he found a letter and he was like, oh, I guess my name is Yuma. Weird. Okay. And it was like, oh, I guess I'm a detective. And I'm supposed to be invited to this train for the World Detective Organization because I'm a master detective? Okay. And then he left this random storeroom that he woke up in and got on a train. And then he got to the train and then it was a bunch of other detectives. And they're like, yo, what's up? You're sus. And then there's supposed to only be five of them on the train, but there's six of them. Um, and they're trying to figure out who's the imposter. And the current, the, the one of the theories that was brought up is that maybe the, whoever the imposter was had like knocked us out or something and given us amnesia. And we just happened to wake up in time to get back on the train and thwarted their plan a little bit. Um, because they've also brought up that it would be too obvious for us to be the, the detective. But at the same time, uh, Yuma is a fucking dumbass. So I don't really believe he's a master detective yet. So I don't know. But the fact that they've brought up that it would be too obvious for it to be him makes me think it probably actually isn't him. Uh, but, I mean, not a lot has happened. That's literally it. And it's very minimal stuff. There are. You may speak. I'll allow it. Hundredth time. Why would we need your permission? The Amaterasu Corporation. They could be responsible for this. And your reasoning? Someone has been tailing me for the past few days. It started after I was first assigned to Kanai Ward. Wherever okay. I went, I could sense the presence of someone in the shadows. Sus. But I could never catch them in the act. For the record, I don't mean sus that someone was stalking her. I mean sus that she's saying this. I think she is the imposter. It was getting annoying, so I tried to bait them out. I walked around town in my underwear. And at last, they revealed themselves. I... Honestly? We stand. Hold up. Did you just say that you... Hmm? Something the matter? Nope, not at all. <clears throat> Never mind. Continue. I avoid solving problems with violence, so I was unable to apprehend them. However, I saw them escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars with my own eyes. Right. Why would Amaterasu Corp spy on you? Because they don't want Kanai Ward to be investigated. Perhaps this is the same situation. Yeah. Which is why I think our uninvited sixth guest is a spy from Amaterasu. Okay. The spy has only one goal, to disrupt our trip to Kanai Ward. Okay. Hence why they are pretending to be a master detective among us. Mm. Among us. So among us. believe Amaterasu is involved. Not in I do not okay, see yeah. how escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars is proof someone is a company spy. Well, that's fair. Um, okay. excuse me. You keep talking about it, but what's Amaterasu Corporation? Fucking amnesia dork. Are you kidding me? We gotta explain that too? It's fine. We can teach Yuma as we share information with one another. Uh, what do I want to ask them about Amaterasu? What is the Amaterasu Corporation? In short, Amaterasu is a freaking huge company. You see their products practically everywhere in daily life. They make everything from kids' toys to fighter jets, industrial goods, electronics, and pharmaceuticals, everything. Big companies always got dark underbellies. With Amaterasu, there's smoke. There's a whole building burning down. That's a detective joke. Funny, huh? Sure, I got it. Thanks. All right. Uh, okay, about Kanai Ward, then. We're heading to Kanai Ward. What does that have to do with Amaterasu Corporation? It's fairly complicated. But Kanai Ward is essentially an Amaterasu Autonomous Zone. Previously, okay. Kanai Ward was just another regional city, but as it was being developed by Amaterasu Corp, the city itself transformed. The imposter is capitalist. 
Too real, too real. See, dystopian cyberpunk? Yeah, yeah, no, you kind of right with that. You kind of right with that. Factories, research labs, and affiliate companies were built. In no time, the whole place belonged to Amaterasu. As a matter of fact, Kanai Ward is essentially ruled by the Amaterasu Corporation. Political power has no influence there. Since it's so isolated, no one has been traveling to and from Kanai Ward. Isolated? Exactly. Because of that, no information has been getting out, aside from rumors of unsolved cases. This has been going on for years, but the unified government has been turning a blind eye to the whole thing. The Amaterasu Corporation's influence affects not just the UG, but the entire world. Given the situation, the World Detective Organization couldn't wait any longer and decided to act. Okay. As a result, Master Detectives are gathering in Kanai Ward. And that's pure speculation, mind you. We won't know the full details until we arrive. Okay. I see. Thank you very much. All right, and then lastly about the uh, Amaterasu Express. Speaking of, this mm. train is called the Amaterasu Express, isn't it? Yes. The Amaterasu Express is an entirely driverless train developed by the Amaterasu Which I also think is interesting given that there are multiple, like, rooms for drivers to sit in. They are empty, of course. There aren't drivers here, but, like... It's not like it's designed to be driverless. Clearly, it was designed so there could be drivers, so I don't really... The WDO made arrangements to prepare it for arrival at Kanai Ward. <laughs> Forget despair versus hope. In for capitalism versus socialism or something. I'm here for it. I'm straight here for it. Normally, it has no passenger cars for the trip to Kanai Ward. But they added ours as a special exception. It features enough passenger space for all of us and a lavish dining car. Quite the warm welcome. Fair a enough. perfect setup to persuade us nothing is amiss in Kanai Ward. By the way, the windows and doors are completely locked until we arrive. They say it's for our safety. But I feel as though we're stuck in a big, moving coffin. All the sash windows are sealed, so they can't be opened. I, Pucci, confirmed it myself prior to the train's departure. Okay. Perhaps these measures were taken to prevent infiltrators or stowaways. Once it's en route, the Amaterasu Express becomes a box that's impossible to enter or exit. If you feel up to it, why don't you take a look around? But you can access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. Broken? Well, go ahead and see for yourself. Right. Okay. So wait, the door, which door? The fifth door. See, that's sus, that one of the door... So something is clearly in that last car, then, I would assume. Has anything you heard sound familiar? It feels like my first time hearing about any of it. Sorry. I see. It's all right. Just tell us if you do remember anything. Thank you. Okay. He seems nice and all, but maybe he's the imposter. <laughs> huh? Interesting. Um, did someone just speak? No. Hey, what's wrong? You've gone pale. How about you have something warm to drink and get some rest? Although, we only seem to have coffee here. Okay. Do you drink it black? Or do you need some milk? Front probably wants milk. Hey, how old are you anyway? I can't tell from the way you dress. Never mind him. Yeah. What? Wait, how old Have are a you? Drink to warm yourself up. I don't. What, how old are you? <sighs> Thank I you. I want to know. For a friend. What was that voice earlier? Am I hearing things? I wonder. Because it sounds like a different voice than the ghost thing before, right? I have amnesia, and now I'm hearing things. 
What's happening to you me? You have schizophrenia, my dude. I wonder if it has something to do with the sixth person. Maybe. Besides, who is this sixth uninvited guest anyway? Someone in the room with us. Seemingly. I should think about it a bit. Who is the most suspicious person here? Oh, wow, it's making us choose someone? Uh, I would say uh, Melanie. Melanie was the first to suggest the theory about there being an Amaterasu Corporation spy. True. What if she's intentionally misleading us? If that's the case, everything happening right now could be due to ulterior motives. I'm kind of convinced Yuma is a child, honestly. Yeah? Yeah? Seems... Yeah? I don't disagree, honestly. No matter how much I think about it, we have no proof of anything so far. If I really am a master detective, I could have some useful powers. You could. You certainly could. I wonder if I can somehow remember what those powers were. Remembering now won't do any good. I'm pretty sure his powers are just to tell when other people are using their powers. That kind of seems to be what it's been implying, right? There it is again. I keep hearing that voice. Jeez, what's happening to me? Hey, Runt! Uh-huh? Get over here. The old man is gonna show off his powers. What? Uh, Zange? Uh... Okay. Sure. What's happening? Although I am reluctant to do so, I shall demonstrate my forte. Not gonna lie, my guy, I don't remember what your forte is. Um, where are you, Zange? What is your forte? It was, oh, photography. Right, that's, yep, so, so true. Um, I will also say something interesting to note that I think could be relevant later. Um, they, so that they said already the fifth car is blocked off. We can't see what the fifth car, what's up with that, right? Now, two people have officially scanned to be like, hey, nothing's wrong. Nothing's going on. That'd be Aphex and Poochie. However, and someone can correct me if I'm wrong about this, but I believe, uh, Aphex's like radius for what he can sense is much smaller than Poochie's. Presumably, seemingly, or seemingly, we can presume, like, Aphex, I think, was accurate in his initial assessment. But given that Poochie is the one with the larger radius, let's say maybe uh, Aphex's assessment didn't quite go as far as to reach the fifth car, maybe. Poochie's, well, seemingly as it's larger, would have gone far enough to reach the, the fifth car. So if someone ends up being in the fifth, fifth car... Uh, Pushi would be the one that I would place sus on because she has the wider radius, I believe, uh, with her forte. So I think that is interesting to note now. Anyway, let's go see what, uh, fucking Zange's thing is. You forced my hand. Otherwise, suspicions will continue to mount against me. In the 3D s s shader, it seems like they like to do shading by using the same color, changing only the saturation and value and leaving the hue as is, which is not how you do shading. Yeah, yeah, I think you were kind of right. I don't, don't know what they're doing with that. To be perfectly frank, I, I don't, I do not know. Uh, wait, no, his eyes are in the shape of the ghost thing. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's what the the shape is. <gasps> that makes perfect sense, actually. Interesting. What's that? Your cell phone? Quiet. He's using photography, a super mm -hmm. real thing. <clears throat> What? <laughs> okay. There it is again. I can feel Zonga using his forte. Oh, okay. Um, Caleb, wait till you see what happens. Things will go crazy and you might enjoy it. Okay. As I've said before, my power is photography. Yeah, I can well, project what the fuck my does memories that onto electronic mediums to generate and record footage. 
Okay, and we do, and, and if we see him using his, the thing is, my guess is that everyone's forte is real, and that our ability to sense fortes is a, it's like making us think that it'll narrow it down to somebody who doesn't have a forte. My guess is that everyone has a forte, it's just that one of them isn't supposed to be here. The recorded clip shows what occurred approximately five minutes ago. I suppose it's faster to simply show you. Again? Yes, that is us. That's definitely the scene that took place about five minutes ago. I can only record about two to three seconds. Back in my prime, I was able to do ten. Okay. Also, as memories fade, the recorded footage will also fade. Fair enough. The rule of thumb is that it lasts around 48 hours. But by copying it to another device before it fades, footage can be used as evidence during investigations and in court. Okay. Pardon me, but are you sure this is thoughtography? It appears as though you captured footage from a hidden camera. Hmm. All you do is doubt everybody. Be constructive for once. <laughs> Yo, Apex kind of a homie. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually kind of a fan. Do you think being suspicious isn't constructive? Don't you believe that the truth lies beyond all suspicion? Yep. A detective's job is to suspect others. I'm hearing things again. My memories haven't returned, and the voices keep getting louder. It's giving me a headache. It's like my own body doesn't belong to me. Young oh. man, are you oh. all right? You don't seem well. I'm sorry. I feel a little dizzy. I believe you should rest. Maybe a nap will help get your memories back. The passenger rooms from car three and beyond are all full, so you should use car one at the front. I believe there's an infirmary in there. It should be easy to monitor from where we're at in the second car. Monitor? You've got some nerve. Will you be all right on your own? Or do you need some company? Sheesh, get a grip, will ya? Sorry. Huh? Did you say something? No, it's nothing. I'm all right. I can get there by myself. Okay, wait, so... We're getting to... Yeah, the infirmary... And yeah, so we already saw that. That was the one in car one, which yeah, I guess is just this way. Uh, sure. Let's let's uh go over to the infirmary then, if I can. And then I believe the infirmary was right here, right? Wait. Never mind. It's locked. You gotta find the key first. The key! Where is the key? Is it somewhere in the first car? I see, I see. What? If the entire area is shining, it means a destination is nearby. I have to find a fucking key? Ah, Gross. Uh, key in here? It's not here. Okay, well, thanks for helping. Uh, no key there. Uh, I can't even run very fast. I'm so fucking dizzy. God damn it. Okay, come on. Come on, buddy. It opened. Okay, I could for sure see... Oh. Okay, this is bad. Um... Are we okay? No, no, we are not. And we passed out. 
And the real question is, are we going to time skip and have someone find us, or are we going to go to some like weird <gasps> other dimension and talk to the ghost or something? Hey. I think that is what's going to happen. It's time to get up. How long are you going to sleep? Get up above, or I'll boom kill you. <sighs> Huh? Okay. So you can finally see cute little me. <laughs> it's all taking root. Okay. What's happening? I don't. Okay. Okay. What? Huh? What is this thing? How can you call me a thing when I'm so adorable? Well, aren't you rude? It's talking. Not only am I hearing things, I'm seeing things too. I've completely lost it. <laughs> Based in schizophrenic pill. <laughs> Pills. <laughs> That's right. We exchanged an intimate secret pact just between us. Honestly? Fire. Huh? What pact? What? You forgot all about how we were so passionately bound together? Uh, what? Oh, how cold of you. After I offered myself to you and you alone. What the fuck happened between him and this ghost? You're so irresponsible. Take ownership of your actions. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm kidding. Of course you forgot. That's part of the contract. What? You don't get a death god for free, you know. Oh. If you want to eat, you got to bring something to the table. A death god. Wait. What did you just say? A death god? Interesting. Call me Shinigami. A Shinigami? Interesting. All right. Death God sounds so ominous and creepy. That ain't my style, you know. I'm too cute for that. I was born too pure and innocent. That's why I prefer to go by Shinigami. Anyway, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Oh, we are the imposter, and we need to kill for her. Oh, I. I mean, it does kind of... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. This ghost has the personality of Junko a little. Oh, and... She, yeah, I... Okay, I, I already could kind of see that. That's interesting. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good answer, Master. You keep calling me Master. Wait, are you haunting me? Please, yeah. Please, call me Shinigami. Shinigami? Yep, yep. I'm 100% haunting you. I'm haunting you like your life depends on it. That was your wish after all. What? That's why we made that contract. Okay, I'm assuming that's going to be late uh, game lore. That's what I wanted? And for our sweet, sweet contract, you offered something in return. Offered? <gasps> you finally got it? You the memories. Your own memories. Yeah. You tossed away your entire past and smashed our fates together. That's why I have amnesia? The euphoria from completing our contract made you pass out in that room. Even though you woke up, it took some time for me to take root in you. But I can talk to you now, which makes me happy. Not. Okay. Which is it? Why would I make a contract with you? Why did I offer my memories? Sorry, but I can't share the contract's details with you. Those are the rules. Why not? Tell me! No can do. That's the contract. By the way, Master, something's been bothering me. What is it? What? Two hours have gone by since you passed out. Mm-hmm. Huh? Two hours? Yep. And here I was, waiting for you to wake up. Admirable, right? What? During that time, no one came to check on you. They're all so cruel, you know? What? Maybe they forgot about you. 
Who's they? Speaking of, why am I here? Is this the restroom in the first car? That's right. I felt sick at the dining car, so I was looking for the key to the infirmary. You should watch your own health, Master. We share mind and body. When you feel sick, I get irritated too. Your haunting presence is probably why I felt sick in the first place. Hey, don't blame me. Anyway, you better hurry and take a look around. How Shinigami came out uh, came about design-wise, the designers wanted to make a character that is the lead girl and mascot rolled into one. Honestly, that's peak. That's I love that. Doesn't his little animation look like Monokuma a little? Hmm, I could see that. I could. See, I mean, it's that mascot type thing, right? That's right. Where are the others? These are the questions. Where are the others? Um. Okay, before we. Well, let me see. Firstly, uh, you good? You sure you don't want to open it up to check? <sighs> Not gonna check. Okay, noted. Noted. This Window. Place. Well. Nothing. No memories. Of course, nothing looks familiar. All right. And then still not <sighs> knowing who we are and yep, yep. <laughs> okay, and I believe we can save. Okay, guys, guys, guys. Nope, I just fucking fucked. I dropped the controller. Okay. Unless we're like real close to the end of chapter zero, which I don't think we are. I think it might be best if we leave off here for the night, since I know it only lets you save during portions where you're walking around, which is not thus far. We have not had very many of them, which is why I kind of want to take this opportunity in case uh, it locks us into story stuff for now, uh, just because we're ending here. <laughs> I just don't know if I can go much unless we're like, unless there's a better point uh, for like Kokichi or anyone who, who's, who's uh, played before. I just don't know if I can go a uh, super, super late uh, tonight. So not necessarily, but I also don't know if there's gonna be a, a better point to end than here. That's the only uh, the only question here. Um, we are ending here kind of bad and not even close to halfway. <laughs> See, that's what I was kind of thinking. I think we're not that far through, through chapter zero, but we have been going for like, like, uh, well over four hours at this point and it is like at least here 2 a.m and i don't know if i want to want to be up super super late uh tonight um so <laughs> you know if you go late enough it becomes early i mean true you ain't wrong you ain't and i've done that before y'all know i've fucking my the last nirvana initiative stream right that finished at i think something like 8 30 a.m right that was how long that one took uh please keep going I mean, I get, uh, I suppose. <laughs> Gee, I mean, we can go maybe a little more, but I just don't know if, I, if we can stay up that late, you know? I don't know. If it, it, Okay, Kokichi and or anyone who's, who's played this, is there going to be a point maybe like a little bit from now where that we could stop? That isn't like too far ahead because i just don't want to go too much too too late just because it is it is getting late because i do you know i do need to sleep you kind of right you sleeping would be good i'm not good at it um please i miss you and you won't be here next week uh okay but okay wait pitch 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 sunday stunt sunday sunday evening what if I were to stream Sunday evening as my next week stream, since I won't be able to stream Wednesday. I stream for a few hours to finish chapter zero Sunday evening. We hop right in and we don't do much just chatting before we just hop right into the game and get through the rest of chapter zero. And that is what we do. What, what about that? Would that sound, would that be, would that be good? I mean, that would only be like one, two, three, four ish, right? Like four days from now. We just do it in the evening on Sunday for a few hours. Maybe. Maybe. 
What do y'all think about that? I think that could I think that could be the move. Maybe. Maybe. Right? Mayhaps. <laughs> Mayhaps. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Sunday evening? Sunday evening. I have I have I'm usually Sundays I have a thing, but this Sunday I specifically don't. So I mean I could literally Sunday evening. I I think it would work. I'm down. Gonna be quite a bit of walking from here on out. Okay, fair enough. I mean, I think th I think that'd be the move though, just because it's only four days from now, and then we can finish chapter zero on uh, Sunday evening. Yeah, evening better than night. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking evening would be the the an ideal time. That way, it's not like too late in the night because I might have some stuff to take care of in the night to prepare for my uh, vacation and stuff. But I think evening I can absolutely do. So Sunday evening, let's plan for. Um, and I should, I, I, yeah, I think I, I have that, I'll have that marked off and we'll do a uh, Sunday evening. I think that's the move. Um, <laughs> if J series says there's going to be a lot of walking, we keep going. <laughs> mayhaps, mayhaps, maybe maybe still get sleep everyone sleep is good that's why i'm like it is a little you know except for some i don't think caleb's ready for the twists that's fair i'm excited for the twist i think it might be better to to just get yeah on, on sunday i think that's the move i think i think if we uh let, let's let's aim let's aim for sunday guys i think uh that would be ideal um just for for maximum stuff and that again it's only four days uh from now so I think if we can uh, plan to do that, that would be dope. Uh, um, yeah. You seem tired right now, so it might be better. Yeah, I, I do kind of need to like wrap up when I, I have to. I have some shit I have to fucking kind of put together before sleeping, and then it's that's yeah, it's the end of the night, you know that that type of thing. I think it would be good to wait till Sunday, uh, but it's only four days from now, so that's why I'm like, you know, I think that'd be the move. So. With that in mind, instead of giving, I was gonna give an ending spiel about uh, my vacation next week, but I guess I could sort of save some of that till Sunday since it'll be uh, closer on Sunday. Um, um, spoiler: everyone dies. That's the end. Though that's just a lie. Love you, love you. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking uh, Sunday evening, maybe five p.m. ish. Um, maybe a little earlier, maybe a little later. We'll see when we get closer to it. I'll schedule it ahead of time. Um, that's going to be the move. Um, and I'll keep you guys updated with all that. And, um, yeah, it'll be very, very, very good. Uh, and it, again, I mean, two, I think that'll make up for, for us, not only the fact that I, uh, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, next week, I won't be available, but also I think having it kind of closer to this stream will one make up for us not having finished chapter zero tonight and to hopefully make up a little bit for me having missed the last couple of weeks. So I'll see you guys in just four ish days if that is all right uh, i'm gonna get some sleep i hope you guys all get some sleep i love all of you i hope you have a great night uh, remember to take care of yourselves drink some water hug yourself love yourself um and know you're awesome all of you are awesome and you should remember that um and yeah it's good seeing you guys good talking to you guys it's been a good night uh, and I'll see you in just a handful of days uh, Sunday. It's gonna be good. So That's the end of my my little speech here. I Could play music right now I'll play three seconds of music Whoa, it's music in the background. Oh my god, it's I'm gonna throw the end screen up now. Have a good night everybody That's the end of that thing Bye